then I'll... Uh Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, it's with great pleasure that we welcome you to the 2024 South Coast Regional Championships for Swimming. Uh, at the very beginning, we would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that we are meeting on here today. Uh, we pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging, and we celebrate the diversity of Aboriginal peoples and their ongoing cultures and connection to the lands and the waters of New South Wales. All right, good morning. And uh, this morning we're coming to you from live from a uh, beautiful little township of Dapto uh, in the, uh, just south of Wollongong, in uh, not the heart of the Illawarra, but uh, well and truly within and from the uh, excellent venue of the Dapto Swimming Pool that is beautifully set up for, uh, for these championships. Uh, an excellent arrangement of uh, timekeeping, uh, uh, equipment, uh, officials and uh, a whole array of assistants that um, go together to make these championships. Uh, they've been very successful over many, many years now. Uh, today it is organised and managed by uh, Mr Paul Crichton from Dapto High School. Uh, we're very lucky, the weather is excellent. Um, it is uh, approximately uh, just leading up to 20 degrees here. The great news for competitors is that it's about 27 to 28 degrees in the water. Uh, so conditions are almost perfect for competitive swimming today. We've got um, the events that are about to get underway which will be the senior girls and senior boys uh, four by 50 meter relay events, they've just been marshaled. The event is about to start and uh, we're looking forward to an excellent day of competition. Of course, all of our competitors are attempting to qualify uh, or have the opportunity to qualify for the New South Wales CHS Championships that will be held at the Olympic venue um, at Olympic Park in Sydney in May. Uh, between the 13th and the 15th of May. Anyway, we wish everybody the best of luck. People have travelled from throughout the South Coast region to be here. We hope you have a great day and uh, good luck to everybody today. Let's, uh, let's pan across in a moment to the start of the swimming program and that's going to be some relay events in the senior age groups. Hope everybody enjoys the broadcast, particularly if you're watching as a supporter, a family member or back in the schools just... Uh, might be watching one or two of your friends compete with a little bit of luck. Your teachers have got it on the screen. We welcome you to Depto and hope you enjoy the broadcast. So we are just awaiting the start of the first event of the day. The officials are organised and set. Officials from New South Wales Swimming, South Coast, uh, many of them uh, with uh, international credentials. So the carnival is beautifully set up uh, for some very, very uh, strong and vigorous competitive swimming. We will be starting with the 4 by 50 metres 200 metres in its entire length, if you like, freestyle relay for the senior girls, the 17 years to 19 years. The starter has them at the blocks.
a range of schools. It looks like they may send them together, possibly a collapsed heat, where our initial range of schools, Bomaderi, Kira, Monero, Malwari, Depto, Illawarra Sports, Vincentia, Winuna, Smiths Hill, Bulli, Ulladulla, Mossvale. They are away. as they make their way down the pool for the first time. Middle of the pool tend to be the fastest seeded schools. It looks like uh, without our uh, reconfigured draw, but we it appears that we have a collapsed and amalgamated uh, two heats into one here. I would say it is between Illawarra Sports, Vincentia, Winuna and Smiths Hill at the moment in the middle of the pool. All right, so with that reconfigured draw in the first event of the day, uh, it is the girls' team from Wanuna, the lane five that looks to have been successful in the first heat or first event of the day. All of these events are timed finals. And uh, in that sense, there are no finals, if you like, later in the day. Um, and that is mainly because, uh, largely down to the fact that many people travel great distances for the competition to occur on one day. So therefore, your opportunity to qualify for the state championships um, is all based predominantly on the times that a person can swim um, in their allocated heat. All right, we have the second event of the day, and we've got it's the senior boys, 17 to 19 years, 4 by 50 meter relay. There's no amalgamation here. They're going in two heats, and almost an exhibition swim here because um, they will have had 10 teams arrive this morning for for this event. They can't put 10 teams across the pool with uh, the nine lanes and therefore it looks like we have in lane five Eden 
I'll confirm that for you in a moment. And it is indeed in lane five, attempting to post a time here. It's very, very challenging, very difficult with no competition around them, but they have a strong set of swimmers. Lane five, it is indeed the boys' senior team from Eden, uh, deep on the south coast uh, um, and very strong swimming tradition this school does have. The boys are proudly representing their school this morning. We hope you, if you're having a bit of a look at the fellows this morning from Eden, as some of you will be, but s hopefully s some uh, viewers from Eden, welcome to the broadcast. We hope you're enjoying it so far. And we've got your guys in the pool uh, attempting to post a time that, of course, the competitors in Heat 2 will have to chase. They're doing a great job. They look like they brought four very, very strong swimmers with them up from Eden for this event, and they will bring it down into the final five metres and he touches and they post their time. Great swim from the guys from Eden uh, with that really challenging situation of having to go it alone. And now in heat two, a complete lineup Mulwari, Yas, Wanuna, Kira, Warrawong, Kanahooker, Vincentia, Smiths Hill. And rounding it out should be in lane nine, Kayama. Start are not happy. Little movement on the blocks. Obviously, a little bit of nervous energy this morning. First swim of the day for most of these competitors. In fact, all of them. They are on their marks for the senior boys. Four by 50 metres relay. And they are away. They make their way down the pool. Competitors in the middle of the pool. The team's in the middle of the pool. Uh, leading it in as expected. Faster seated. Lane five will change in front. It is Warrawong. Handing it over. They only have a one metre lead. Half a body length, if you like. Closely pursued by Kanahooker. Changeover will happen, and it will be lane six that comes up swimming just in front. Lane six, can a hooker, um, but we've got Warrawong right on their shoulder. This is going to be a great swim down the last 75 metres of the pool. Their third swimmers are in the water. Lane six, holding it at the moment, just a shoulder length. It will hand over to their final swimmer. And leave it up to the final swimmers to uh, sort this out as they make their way down the pool for the final time in the senior boys 4x50 metre relay. What a great start to the day. Uh, plenty of activity. Very, very vigorous event. High energy. Lane 6 pulling it away. Looks like Canna Hooker. Beautiful swim. Excellent swim from all of those boys for their first event of the day. Some of them will have more events throughout the day, but they've, uh, they've had to start it in a pretty exciting fashion. Often the 
Uh, senior teams have had to wait until the middle of the day when other relays will occur, but uh, they've got that out of the way nice and early this morning. Some of them may have other commitments back at school um, later in the day, and that frees up their day. And a lot of these fellows will be will be studying for uh, HSC preparations for these kind of things in Year 12, and that will free them up to attend those commitments later in the day. Great swim from all of the boys in the senior 4x50 metre relay. Next event, we're going to move into that uh, very, very technical event, which is the butterfly. We have the girls 12 years 100 metres butterfly. Two competitors that we're aware of, Madison Sedgwick, Wanuna, Olivia Rogers, looks like Warrawong. And great uh, example, excellent exponents of the butterfly. We make our way down the first leg. It looks like Madison Sedgwick, Wanuna. Olivia Rogers, lane six, in pursuit. She turns and will now make her way down over the final 40 metres. It is Madison Sedgwick, Wanuna. If you're tuning in this morning from your schools, welcome to the broadcast. It's, um, it's half eight. We might be a little early for some some schools but uh, we, get, we are getting to that time where classes will be beginning to roll in if you're fortunate you might have a teacher um, that uh, will allow you to uh, watch a little bit of the broadcast today great opportunity to uh, to observe uh, some of your uh, school swimmers that um, in the past I guess you would just wish them luck and then um, wait for the result when they return to school the next day but here we are Broadcast coming to you live from DAPTA, and as the day rolls on, we hope you get to view some of the swimming uh, from the regional championships back in your classrooms. If you're watching us at home or over breakfast this morning, uh, also welcome to the broadcast. We've got a beautiful morning here in Dapto. It's just pushing up into 20 degrees. It's going to get quite warm today. Uh, um, sun protection, a must. All right, you may have heard it. Uh, we'll just clarify that. We're moving into event five. The 13-year-old girls, 100 metres butterfly. Lulu Paul, Dapto, Kaya Nal, Aladala, Charlotte Davies, Aladala, Ella Collins, Lane 7, Yes. So I believe we are going without Charlotte Davies here. Uh, and our competitors are Lulu Paul. Kaya Nal, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And Ella Collins. They make their way down the pool for the first time in this grueling and demanding of events. 100 metres butterfly. It's a uh, pretty close affair at this stage between lane five and lane six. I uh, beg your pardon, between lane four and lane five. Lulu Paul, Kayat Nal, representing Dapto and Oladola, respectively. 
Uh, they move into the grueling section of the event, which will be the last 25 metres. Butterfly is that event where, I mean, I'm sure it applies to every stroke in the swimming program, but um, the combination of the technicality, the efficiency of the stroke and the power required um, to perform the stroke, very, very challenging. Lane five it is, Kayanal Aladala. The next event will be Heat 2 of the 13 Years Girls. Lacey Dunn, Eden, Matilda Aikman, Albion Park, Ivy Lynch, Bulleye, Cecilie Thun, Carabar, Zoe Marsh, Wanuna, Sophia Neo, Carabar. Isabella Harrison, Bomaderi, Stella Smith, Kira, Phoenix Anderson, Canna Hooker, rounding it out in lane nine. They're on their mark. Girls make their way down the pool in the first leg and these are the faster qualifiers and in the middle of the pool you will find the fastest seated qualifiers so we've got Zoe Marsh lane five who has the shoulder length at the moment over Sophia Neo from Carabar she will turn and it looks like Zoe Marsh will lead them into the final 50 but she has Sophia Neo on her shoulder and, um, and the race is on to try and post uh, the quickest time here, quickest couple of times in an attempt to qualify for the state championships, CHS championships at Olympic Park in May. Got a nice gathering of people here at the pool today. Uh, of course, travelling from throughout the South Coast region. Many of them travelling, I guess, the day before and arriving, staying overnight. They're spectating the championships in a temperature of about 20 degrees at the moment. It's comfortable. Uh, it's going to climb into the high 20s later in the day. All right, we're away, 13 years, boys. There's only one heat here. Ziad, El Asar, Carabar, Levi, Gowing, Bigger, Darcy Benson, Wanuna, Xavier Miles, Maruya, I think, I'm pretty sure, I hope that is correct, Joshua Gillette, Oak Flats, Benjamin Agnew, Fig Tree, Noah Papandreas, Smiths Hill, and Darag. Nisi, Moss Vale, and make their way down the pool for the first time. It is lane five. Xavier Miles, Maruya, taking them through comfortably uh, with four body lengths here to Joshua Gillette. The event in the water at the moment is the 13 Years Boys. It is event six in the program. And unofficially, of course, because I'm calling it from poolside, 
the uh, officials will make all of these decisions. It appears to be Xavier Miles, Maruya, uh, posting fastest time there. We're set up in the program today where if we have an excess of nine competitors for a particular event, then the event will be run across, or it will be swum across two heats. Now that can be the original plan, but if um, all of those competitors that have qualified don't appear, then the marshals and officials headed by um, Adam Sergeant Wilson down in the marshalling area. A rich experience of marshalling. Um, not only a rich experience of marshalling and officiating at South Coast Championships, but also at the state level. and um, A rich history of sport himself. What they will do down at marshalling is that they will collapse and amalgamate the heats. So... We are set up now. This looks like they are going in two heats. It is the 14 years girls. It is event seven. All right, the event we have in the water. We're coming in. We are at the moment. We are heading into the second heat for event seven, uh, which is the 14-year-old girls, 100 meters butterfly. Heat two. Mia Gibbs, Yass, Ruby McIntosh, Malwari, Imogen Walsh, Warilla, Ruby McBain, Eden, Michaela Want. Coromel, Alani, Sims, Warrawong, Peyton, Willis, Warrawong. Jocelyn Merritt, Wollongong. The event in the pool at the moment, the 14 years girls. 100 metres. 14 years girls, 100 metres butterfly, lane five. Michaela Want from Coromel will take them around. And she has possibly two body lengths here as she brings them into the final 30 metres.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've um, been very fortunate to have uh, some feedback on the broadcast this morning and uh, made a decision, the technical uh, team has made a decision that to improve the viewing for people watching the live stream, which we really appreciate people uh, tuning in. We're going to relocate uh, the camera uh, setup uh, to the western side of the pool and hopefully that will give people uh, an even better view of the championships. So there will be a slight uh, break in the broadcast. We are in the butterfly section of the program, the 100 metres, um, and when we return, we'll get you updated immediately as to where we are in the program. Thanks for viewing so far, and we look forward to catching you on the other side of the break.
Welcome back to uh, the Depto Pool for the South Coast Regional Championships. We just had a relocation of the camera, and uh, we hope you're getting a really good view of the pool now. We're on the western side. Uh, we are in Event 11. Sorry, we are at event 12. It is the 16-year-old boys, 100 metres butterfly. The record is held by Liam Canine from Barrel. It was set in 2011 with a time of 1.0028. This looks like an amalgamated event. I dare say uh, the middle of the pool, the lane arrangements remain the same. Uh, so we have a collection of swimmers, Wyatt Gordon, Queenbian, Blake Wigger, Jindabyne, Aaron Merlino, Naruma, Riley Smith, Malwari, Brody Irvin, Bega, Christian Island, Ulladulla, Mac Elliott, Warilla, Jai, Marsh, Wanuna, Xavier Anderson, Canner Hooker, and Lachlan McNeilage, Mossvale. They make their way back down the pool. To the best of our knowledge, it is Mac Elliott Warilla who leads them out here in this amalgamated event. He has the best part of a body length over Christian Island, I believe, from Ulladulla, who is finishing strongly, and he just looks like Mac Elliott just touches him out. Keep in mind, the swimmers are attempting to post times that will be compared across... Uh, Two heats, if you like, sometimes three. And they're going to try and qualify for the New South Wales CHS Championships that will occur at Homebush Olympic Park, the Olympic venue, on the 13th to the 15th of May. We're looking forward to that. But at the moment, here we are, Depto. Temperature this morning is perfect. It is low 20s. Water temperature, 28 degrees. Next event, event 13. It is the girls, the senior girls. We may have seen some of these competitors a little earlier this morning, which is rare, uh, but we've had the senior relays. First, uh, first two events of the day. A collection of these various swimmers, Amy Prentice, Dapto, Amber Virgo, Carabar, Ramesa, Kalkan, Warrawong. They make their way back down the pool in the senior girls 100 metres butterfly. Uh, we also have Adina Hines, Yass, Felicity Shannon, also Yass, Zoe Breckenridge, Wanuna, Imogen Fickers, Smiths Hill, Madison Jones, Wanuna, Elizabeth Williamson, Dapto, Mia Jones, Vincentia and Charlotte Greenwood. But it will be most like that's a very close finish. We're gonna leave that to the going to leave that to the officials. Zoe Breckenridge lane four, Madison Jones, Wanuna uh, touching it out in the hundred meters for the senior girls. Great start to the day.
dose, 200 yeah, units yeah. relay. Yeah. Event 72. So they only do Senior boys, uh, they're going to go in two heats here. Senior boys, 100 metres, Butterfly. Caleb Smith, Carabar, Tippy Scott, Naruma, Matthew Ursino, Smiths Hill. They are attacking the first 50 metres and they have uh, moved at such a speed that they have only 75 metres to swim now. It is... Tippy Scott, the rumour, I believe, who's going to lead them into the turn. And he has company as they make their way back down the pool with 45 metres to swim. It's a great contest. Uh, you know, a first heat, these guys are coming in, um, qualifying outside of that, that second heat. So they're going to try and put a time on the board for the heat two to chase. It's very, very hard. Uh, from Heat 1. Just had a record announcement there. You may have heard it. Um... Uh, 100 metres fly, 16 years we think it was. Uh, Tilly Fickers is the new record holder at 104.72. She has broken a record that was set in 1991 of 105.34. Congratulations to Tilly Fickers. We're now looking at heat two for the senior boys, 100 metres butterfly. And your lineup of swimmers is as follow: Caleb Miles. Possibly Monero. Noah Johnson, Warula, Jack Cox, Cana Hooker, Emilio, Manuelian, Vincentia, Declan Carriage, Cana Hooker, Matthew Higgum, Nara, Riley Gibbs, Yass, Noah Price, Bulleye, and Joe Quinlan, Jinderbein. Senior boys, 100 metres, butterfly. We're leading into... Uh, very exciting uh, part of the program, which will be our first multi-class event in event 15. It will be the Butterfly. They are making their way back down the pool, uh, the business end of this race. And it is lane five. Declan Carriage, can a hooker. He will bring it in with two strokes to swim, and he glides and touches and makes a beautiful finish. Um, and a nice swim there. He's looking across the lane eight. I think Noah Price might have finished nicely there. These are all unofficial sort of just observations, of course. Um, so the final results here are going to be um, at the discretion of the officials, not the uh, casual observations of the announcer. That brings to a conclusion the senior boys butterfly. Got a little correction to make there, uh, and my apologies to Caleb Miles in the uh, 
senior boys butterfly there and all of his supporters i announced he was from monero he is uh from maruya of course beautiful town on the on the coast there maruya miles from monero uh but if you're watching from monero or maruya this morning welcome as to anyone who's enjoying the broadcast i think kids and teachers are probably rolling into schools now uh might have roll call out of the way and be heading into period one Maybe you've got a uh, physical education teacher. You could have a teacher from any subject area. Could be in a primary school watching the senior championships this morning, or you might be at home having your morning tea. Welcome to the broadcast. We've got there the multi-class Isaac Logan. He's come in from Vincentia to swim the 50 metres, 12 to 19 years butterfly multi-class, and he's done a very, very nice job of it. We have another uh, freestyle relay here now. It's event 16. It's the 15-year-old girls freestyle relay. They're going to go in two heats by the looks of this. And if you're a little bit of a uh, an historian of South Coast swimming, and probably any swimming, you may recall that the relays were swum as a bank of events somewhere in the program, often towards the end of a day. But what they have done now just to make uh, life easier sometimes for, for swimmers and parents and people who are supporting and transporting the students to and from pools, particularly over these long distances. The relay events are scattered throughout the day. Uh, we had the seniors swimming the first events of the morning. Um, and now we're heading into event 16, the girls 15 years, 4 by 50 metre relay. Heat one, going out of lane four, Dapto, lane five, Yas, and lane six, Jindabine. So it is the girls from Dapto, coastal kind of town that it is, and it's particularly coastal if you want to compare it to Yas up on the southern tablelands, and Jindabine also on the tablelands. Uh... But we have it down to two schools, actually, Dapto and Yas. Very fortunate to have the assistance of many officials, uh, staff from schools, swimming from uh, officials from Swimming New South Wales, um, many of them very, very well qualified. South Coast uh, Swimming Club, Dapto Swimming Club, uh, that come together to uh, assist with the running and officiating of this uh, championships. We also have uh, a number of retired uh, staff that uh, volunteer to come and assist at these kind of championships. Um, the South Coast Regional Championships would not be alone there. I'm sure other regions are enjoying all of those magnificent services and skills as well. And it also occurs at the state level, uh, probably occurs across the, the length and breadth of swimming and sport uh, in schools. The changeover occurs. It is lane five. Yes. They have a slight lead, but the Dapto girls are well and truly in touch, just on her hip. Uh, Dapto chasing Yas down the third leg of this 15 years girls 4x50 metre relay. It's a beautiful morning here at Dapto. The sun is shining. As I cast my eye towards the, the southern end of the pool, we've got our bank of timekeepers, uh, a range of staff and also students from Dapto High School and the sun is beating into them at the moment as it, it comes in from the north. So it's a Probably a good reminder to all of us that the, the sun protection needs to be applied today and it's going to get much warmer. There's a nice little, uh, I believe it's a northeasterly breeze coming in, just cooling things down a touch. That's handy. Here we are at the business end of Heat 1. Girls, 15 years, 4 by 50 metres freestyle. It is Yas that have maintained the lead 
dragging it out to almost the body length. That's a really impressive uh, first heat from girls from both of those schools. Dapdo and Yass. A close competition uh, which allows all of the, both of those schools to probably produce close to their best efforts as one school pushes the other along. We're going to move into the second heat. Wollongong, Jindabyne, Braidwood, Fig Tree, Bulleye, Ulladulla, Kayama, Vincentia, Malwari. First swim of the day, I think, for uh, competitors from Braidwood Central School. And they are here in lane three. If you're watching from Braidwood, welcome to the broadcast. And we hope it's a nice day up on the Tablelands. We've got quite a few Tablelands schools that are swimming at the championships. The girls make their way down the pool for the first time. The handover occurs, and it is lane six, Aladulla. My apologies, it is Bulleye, flanked by Aladulla and Kayama in lane seven but out in lane one uh, Wollongong doing a beautiful job just quietly going about their business Bulleye extend their lead they take it out to a body length and a half over Ulladulla traditionally competitive school and on their shoulder Kayama in lane seven they will round out the top three at the moment. The record holders were Oak Flats, a minute 59.78. Oak Flats set that record in 2011. Strong stroke here. Final swimmer, Bulleye, lane five. Just, uh, I won't be able to suggests that she's enjoying it. She may be, but um, they have the lead and the effort is going in. They're not letting up. Keep in mind, they will post a time that will also be registered for qualification at the state championships. And that's important in the seedings that occur when everybody gets to Olympic Park. So it is important to swim to your best, close to your potential. The Braidwood girls are in, and the Mulwari girls will round out the field in what is a very, very uh, exciting and interesting race to watch. The 16, sorry, the 15-year-old girls, four by 50 metres freestyle, where we're leading to event 17. It is the boys, 15-year-olds, four by 50 free. Fifteen-year-old boys going in two heats: Jindabyne, Yas, Aladala, Albion Park, Nara. Heat one. I'll give you an update on this field in a moment. All right, so the uh, teams that you have in front of you now in the 4 by 50 metres for 15-year-old boys, Heat 1 are Yas, Lane 4, Albion Park, Lane 6, and Nara in Lane 7. 
Nara is leading this out. Not a great change in the arrangements here, but we are seeing a little transformation here. Nara led them down the first 50 metres. Albion Park has come more into the frame now, and they will change in front with 100 metres to swim. It is lane six, Albion Park. Uh, their second and third swimmers, so obviously their first swimmer laying the foundation and launching their second and third swimmers who have created and extended a lead. They have it out to three body lengths over Nara and Yass in lane four. It's heat one, so we've got the boys in heat two making their final preparations. The handover occurs. It is Albion Park, lane six. He's freestyling nicely. If you're tuning in this morning from your schools, probably period one, who knows? It might be a, uh, a PD health lesson, but it might be a maths lesson. You might be, your math teacher might have some interesting calculations going on with the figures here, or you might just be enjoying the swimming and watching one of your uh, fellow students compete. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. It's really nice down here at Depto this morning as that rounds out heat one of the 15-year-old boys, 4 by 50 metres freestyle. All right, the event you can see on your screen at the moment is heat two of the 15-year-old boys, 4 by 50 minutes freestyle. We have a full complement of swimmers across the pool. It is quite a glorious sight uh, as we're in the morning session here at Dapto. A nice low, about 20 degrees uh, and a little warmer in the water, but we've got lane five, Warrawong. My apologies, Warula have taken them around and they've handed over. I tell you what, they've really asserted themselves in this first 70 metres because uh, it is Warilla Lane 5 steaming down the middle of the pool and they have it out to a 5 metre lead. That's going to be very, very challenging to peg back, but uh, there's the beauty of the relay. The, uh, the organisation, the order of swimmers. You can swim your speed, different speeds of swimmers in any order that you like. Uh, but it is Warilla who seem to have assembled a pretty quick, <coughs> strong group for this 15-year-old boys relay. And they are enjoying... 10 metres of lead and will hand over to their fourth swimmer and he is moving well collection of schools here Malwari, Dapdo, Kayama, Wanuna Warilla, Bulleye, Wollongong Bigger in lane 8 Jindabyne, lane 9 it is Warilla a very, very impressive swim by that team they will move in and touch and they will wait for the others to congratulate them on their swims. Kayama looked like uh, finishing top three there, possibly in second. Of course, it's all unofficial. 
just uh, as I said, an observation from the poolside. Jindabyne uh, rounding it out there. If you're watching from Jindabyne this morning, Bega from anywhere throughout the south coast, welcome to the broadcast. Hope you're having a nice morning wherever you are. All right, back into some of the specialist strokes. Freestyle, 100 metres. Blue ribbon event, if you like, for swimming 100 metres freestyle. Record holder for the 12 years girls at South Coast, Rachel Rydell, Illawarra Sports. Was set a long time ago in 2001. One minute, zero four eight zero. What a strong record. Starter not happy. Heat one. Kira Tenkate Monero, I think. Emerson Boatswain, Bomaderi. Amelia Nixon, Maruya. And it is Kira Tenkate Monero. The three swimmers in heat one of the 12 years girls are away. 100 metres freestyle. They are getting the 100 metre freestyle section of the program underway. Girls will change, pretty much locked together at the end of the first 50 metres. Heat one, 12 years girls, 100 metres freestyle. Right, going heat two now. 12 years girls. The early stages of the 100 metre freestyle program. And the starter has them away. Serena Nutland, Illawarra Sports, Ruby Porter, Goulburn, Rhea, Rana Burra. Smiths Hill, Olivia Rogers, Warilla, Madison Sedgwick, Wanuna, Mackenzie O'Malley, Kira, Gabriella Ferrero, Jindabyne, Violet, Eroakin, Kayama, Layla, McIntosh, Mulwari. The second heat of the 12 years girls. 100 metres freestyle. It is lane five, Madison Sedgwick. No stranger to this sort of situation where she uh, has the lead at the moment and also has experience at high levels of swimming, I believe. Um, she's showing that right now as she is establishing a commanding 
lead as she takes them in over 100 metres, Madison Sedgwick, Wanuna. Olivia Rogers, Warrillo, and Mackenzie O'Malley, lane six, Kira, appear to have rounded out the top three there unofficially. We have officials poolside. Uh, Referees, John Williams is one of those with vast experience, <clears throat> not only at regional and state and national, but international levels of officiating. And they are keeping a very watchful eye on many, many things to do with the conduct of each race to make sure um, that the competition is fair and just for all competitors. So there are rules that apply to the execution of each stroke. Um, also, some of the very basic rules like, um, you know, the, the start, making sure the start is fair, um, touching the wall, uh, the changeovers and relays, all of these things uh, have to be paid attention to. And it is our officials' poolside that do that to, um, to add to the, the, the great integrity of the championships and this has occurred over many many years we certainly thank them for their efforts a lot of this occurs on a voluntary basis we're going with 12 year old boys it is one heat 100 meters of freestyle james preedy mosfail dusan hugo carabar pardon me MacArthur Davis, Bomaderi, Lucas Liu, Smiths Hill, Samuel Choi, Fig Tree, Gordon Zhang, Smiths Hill, Luke Baldwin, Malwari, Heath Press, Illawarra Sports, Luca Jarrett, Kayama. Lane 7, Luke Baldwin. Doing it in lane 7. And he'll touch in. So it looks like he will be the fastest qualifier. 100 metres freestyle, 12 year old boys. He has some supporters on the eastern side of the pool. Did enjoy his swim. Great swim from all of the boys there. Next event, looks like we're going with two heats here for the 13 year old girls, 100 free. Heat one. Adele Rieck, Bigger, Cadence Phillips, Jinderbine, Lane 4. Lane 5, Phoenix Anderson, Counter Hooker. Sienna Myers, Oak Flats, Lane 6. Annabelle Feld, Mal Worry, Lane 7. Lacey Dunn, Eden, Lane 8. Well, two very strongly occupied heats here for the 13-year-old girls. Six swimmers in heat one. Sienna Myers of Oak Flats leads them out. She has company in lane four at the head of the event. Sienna um, Phoenix Anderson. Can a hooker. Oh, A oh, great contest at the head of the race here. You've got Annabelle Feld has made her way through the field in lane seven. She looks like she will touch in here. 
she had to work for that. She, um, she had lane four, lane six, Cadence Phillips and Sienna Myers heading it out, and she managed to come over the top. Annabelle Feld, Mull Worry in heat one, going into heat two, 13 years girls. Kalani Chambers, Bly, Josie Cross, Kayama, Ava Dragovic, Illawarra Sports, Sophia Neo, Karabar, Lane 5, Zoe Marsh, Wanuna, Ivy Lynch is going in Lane 6 from Bulai. Isabella Harrison, Bomaderi, Lane 7, Cecily Thun, Lane 8, Karabar, and Amelia Siri, Vincentia, Lane 9. It is a full complement of swimmers as they make their way down the first 50 metres of this 100 metre event for the 13 years girls. It is a sprint. And the pace is on. And it is very, very evenly contested. Only a slight advantage to what I believe is Zoe Marr swimming in lane five. She has competitors on her shoulder. Uh, she has Sophia Neo Karabar right with her. Um, and they will push down to the wall now. Ivy Lynch in lane six is there on the hip but Zoe Marsh appears to hold them off nothing certain there it was a very close finish and I'm making a call from 25 meters out at an angle so it's I can't guarantee it but it appeared Zoe Marsh uh, and uh, Sophia Neo uh, that's where the, the competition was at the head of the field there Event 21, it is 13 years, boys, 100 metres, freestyle, heat one. Okay, your field is Will Peterson, Nara, Ethan Doherty, lane four, Yas, Bo Smith. Bo Smith is in lane five, he's from Dapto. Local boy, Mason Ring, lane six, Kayama. Ziad El Asar, Karabar, lane seven. Callum Solari, Shoalhaven, lane eight. We are in the second half of Heat 1, Event 21. Bo Smith, Lane 5, leading them into the wall. It is Bo Smith from Dapto. Over Ethan Doherty, yes. A local boy from Dapto, uh, heading in, boy coming down from the Southern Tablelands, yes. Boys getting ready for this next event. It's a willing looking field. They've probably been looking forward to this all morning. Chance to clean out the Jets in the 100 metres freestyle for the 13-year-old boys. Event 21, Heat 2. Caleb Tapper, Goulburn going in lane 1. Darcy Benson, Wanuna, lane 2. Lane 3, Archer Green, Monero. Max Cohen is in lane 4. Warilla, middle of the field now. Xavier Miles. Maria, Josh Gillette, Oak Flats, Benjamin Agnew, Fig Tree, Levi Gowing, Bega, 
Noah Papandreas Smith's Hill is in lane nine. Once again, we've got a full lineup of swimmers uh, across the pool. And the head of the battle in the quest to post uh, qualifying time for the state championships is Xavier Miles Maruya. He makes his way down the middle of the pool, stroking nicely. And he looks like he's in complete control of his work here as he moves into the final 15 metres. He's got them where he wants them at the moment. He will make his final strokes into the wall, and it appears to be Xavier Miles, lane five. Posting the time there. Coming in pretty close. Benjamin Agnew, lane seven, fig tree. Nice swim. Great swim from all the boys, 13 years. Next event coming to you, event 22. 14-year-old girls, 100 metres freestyle. If you're watching from your school this morning, uh, you might be watching one of your fellow students, you might be watching brothers or sisters. You could be at home watching the coverage. And look, if we want to stretch our imaginations, you could be overseas queuing in. Wherever you're watching from, we, uh, we certainly welcome you to the broadcast at Dapdo Pool in the Illawarra. The conditions here this morning are that it is sitting on a nice low 21, 20, 21 degrees. We're expecting 28 as conditions heat up and a very gentle breeze coming in from the northeast at the moment. We are at event 22. It is the 14 year old girls. Lenny McKillop, Eden, lane three. Olivia Ferrero, lane four. Jindabine, Sky Todd. Aladala is swimming in lane five. Eva O'Sullivan, Naura, lane six. Liliana Klimuk, Vincentia, lane seven. And Piper Follins, Monero, lane eight. It is lane five. Sky Todd, Aladala. Beautiful township on the south coast, right on the coast. Proud history in many things, but also a very proud history as a fishing village. Obviously, a lot of uh, industry has developed around that over the years. Uh, we welcome people from Ulladulla to the broadcast uh, with the news that Sky Todd appears to have taken out heat one of the 100 metres for the 14 year old girls. Heat two, 14 year old girls. The lineup is as follows. Every lane has a swimmer. And they are away. Kyra Johnson, Wollongong. Bonnie Rigglesworth, Warilla, lane two. Ruby McBain, lane three. All the way up from Eden. Imogen Walsh, Warilla. Michaela White from Coromel. Sky Williams, Fig Tree. Alani Sims, Warilla in lane seven. Mia Gibbs, Yass, lane eight. And Ruby McIntosh, Malwari. In lane nine, Mulwari, one of the two state high schools in the Goulburn region. They've come down from the Tablelands, Ruby McIntosh. It is lane four, Imogen Walsh, Warilla, just over Michaela Want. But Michaela Want moves up. And she now appears to take control of the race. Michaela Want, Coromel. It's a good contest, though. They come down to the wall. Michaela Want and Imogen Walsh. Lane five, lane four, respectively. We continue to make our way into the 100 metres program for freestyle. 
14 year old boys now event 23 Zane Freeman lane 3 Dean Nutland lane 4 Zane is from Albion Park Dean from Illawarra Sports from Monero Tyler Lee lane 5 Jacob Mabry Bomaderry lane 6 Jesse Fitzgibbon Dapto Ashton Cook Fausto lane 8 yes We're only going with Zane Freeman, Dean Nutland, Tyler Lee and Jacob Mabry, it appears, at this stage. They are the four boys that have fronted for this uh, Heat 1, 14-year-old boys, 100 metres freestyle. They turn. Lane 5 takes them around. It is... Tyler Lee from Monero. He's heading them out. He's taking it out to a body length and he has 25 metres to swim here. They're with him, but Tyler Lee dominating this event at the moment. He's got Jacob Mabry at his side. But it will be Tyler Lee bringing it down into the wall from Monero to take out Heat 1. Pretty solid entry here. We've got the 14-year-old uh, boys. Heat 2, Xavier O'Connor, Kiama Lane 1, Finn Island Lane 2 from Ulladulla, Lucas O'Malley, Barrel. Alexander Smythe is swimming in Lane 4, Wollongong. Zane Ward, Lane 5, Kiama. Maxim Gorjeev, Smith's Hill. Is in lane six, Ashton Gowing, Bega, lane seven. Josh Bresler is in lane eight. And he's from Bulleye and Ashton Jamison from Monero, lane nine. As I said, a full complement of swimmers. It is lane five, Zane Ward, that will lead them into the wall most likely. And he does. He touches... Unofficial. <laughs> Moving into event 27, 16 year old girls, there will be two heats here. My apologies, I believe it is the 15-year-old girls event, 24. Three competitors across lane f lanes 4, 5 and 6. Chelsea Rayner, Goulburn, Amelia Blinko, Braidwood Central, Jasmine Stove, Quinbian. It is Chelsea Rayner from Goulburn that appears to have maybe a shoulder an arm length at the moment over the others she leads them around she's swimming nicely in lane four Chelsea Rayner coming all the way down from Goldman I wonder if she made the trip yesterday and stayed overnight possibly it's um it's a couple of hours journey to get in from Goulburn um so uh, a trip this morning or a trip last night for her and her family or supporters. Amelia Blinko from Braidwood Central also travelled here. She moves up alongside and she now takes control of, looks like she takes control of the event. 
Out in front, lane five, Amelia Blinko, I think may have come over the top. Officials will decide that. Fifteen-year-old girls heat two, Lucy Quinlan. She's come in from Jindabyne. A little bit of travelling involved there for Lucy Quinlan and her supporters. Welcome to everyone who has travelled the great distances. It is a big region. Uh, Sienna Wu will swim in lane two, bigger. <coughs> Lillian Wiecek, Warilla, Eloise, Heinz, Salter, Jindabyne. Peyton Tepuk, Winuna, Nyla Lynch, Bulleye Lane 6, Chloe Muir, Smiths Hill Lane 7, Emerson Hall, Kaima Lane 8, Zali Ritchie Lane 9, Aladulla. And my apologies to uh, Eloise Hines Salter and her supporters. I uh, said she was from Jindabyne. She's not from Jindabyne. She's from Jerobombara uh, in the Southern Tablelands zone. Jerobombara down ACT uh, area. Obviously not ACT, New South Wales, but... Um, coming from the southern tablelands. We are now showing you event 25, the 15-year-old boys, 100 metres freestyle. An excellent lineup in heat one. There will be two heats for the 15-year-old boys. Miller Hughes, Jindabon. In lane three, Hayden Anderson, Bega. Connor Mandel, Aladulla, lane five. William Turner, lane six, Mulwari. James Kavanagh, Yass, in lane seven. And Ziggy Winley. Ziggy Winley, Moss Vale, going in lane eight. Strong field in the first heat for the 15 year old boys. Connor. Mindel, Aladella, lane five. He has company at his toes. William Turner from Mulwari is within touch. But Connor will come down to make the touch to be the fastest qualifier, I think. Although we did have a swimmer in lane two, and I'm not sure of that. My apologies. So uh, it'll be keep an eye on the on the official results for that one, I would say. Heat two. Harvey Ring going in lane one from Kayama. Lucas Morgan. Lane two, Wanuna. Ryan Burns, Bega, lane three. Paxton Anderson, Kenna Hooker, lane four. Connor Watt, Albion Park, lane five. Maddox Burke from Warilla, lane six. They're away.
strong field. They're pretty much together. We've got Maximus, Smythe, Kira, lane seven, Hunter, Hooton, Bullion, lane eight, and Riley O'Connor, Kiama. Uh, he is not swimming in this one. Nice line up. The competition now is, uh, as you might like to expect sometimes, it is lane six. Maxim. Sorry, it is Maddox Burke. Lane six. Uh, too close for... Um, and a casual observer from the poolside to call there. Maddox, Burke, Connor, Watt, Paxton, Anderson, and a host of others. Pretty close event. 15-year-old boys. Event 26 now, 16-year-old girls. Lucy McClellan. Lane three. She's from Yass. No swimmer. Lane four. Lane five. Kaya Rickson. No rumor. Ruby Payne. Lane six. Kayama. So it's Kai Rickson, lane five, Ruby Payne, lane six, Kayama, Jayla Puljack from Warilla in lane seven, and Ava McIntyre from Goulburn in lane eight makes up the field for heat one, the 16 year old girls. It looks like Ruby Payne, lane six. She is from Kiama. If you're watching from Kiama this morning, just down the road, uh, you have your swimmer, Ruby Payne, doing it quite nicely for the 16-year-old girls. She will lead them in and post the fastest time from heat one. Heat two, Lily Todd, Ulladulla, lane one. Gidget Dimmer. Bateman's Bay, lane two. Lara Elliott, Winuna, lane three. Bianca Grieve from Shoalhaven is in lane four. Tilly Fickers, lane five. Smiths Hill. Indiana Aikman, lane six. Albion Park. Tasman Messenger is from Bega. She's in lane seven. From Bulleye, Marguerite Bresler. She's in lane eight. And Lara McClellan is swimming in lane nine. She's made the trip from Yass. It is lane five, Tilly Fickers, uh, with a host of regional experience and uh, state experience in swimming. I dare say some national experience as well. Tilly Fickers, Smiths Hill, lane five, leads them around. She is from Smith's Hill. Tilly Fickers, who looks like she will post an extremely quick time here. And most likely express a pretty strong interest in returning to Olympic Park in May to contest the state championships. 16-year-old girls, Tilly Fickers, Smith's Hill. She's got some good company around her. Bianca Grieve, Indiana Aikman. Tasman Messenger and a host of others. Great swim from the 16 years girls. 16 year old boys now. Two heats. Oscar Barkwith from Shoalhaven will swim in lane three. Elijah Neo will swim lane four. From Carabar, James Allery, Naruma, lane five. Lachlan McNeilage, lane six, Mossvale. No swimmer, lane seven. And Luke Woodford from Bombardieri is going in lane eight. 
the boys from the 16 years age group in event 27, heat one, make their way down the pool for the first time. They have 75 metres to swim. And it is lane six, Lachlan McNeilich, who is leading them out. If you're just joining us for the broadcast, uh, tuning in from your school or at home, wherever you are, welcome. Broadcast coming to you this morning from Dapto Swimming Pool. It has been the venue for the South Coast Championship for many, many years, decades, nonetheless. And uh, it's putting on a nice show this morning. And the swimming is matching that. We've got uh, event 27 in the water at the moment. It's the boys 16 years. And it is heat one. Great contest between James Allery, Lachlan McNeilich and Elijah Neo. We've got Oscar Barkwith coming in now. He's representing Shoalhaven. And Luke Woodford representing Bomaderry. Those fellows round out the field. So, yeah, we're beautifully established here at DAPTO this morning. Um, a light breeze coming in, just cooling it down. Beautiful sunny morning in the Illawarra for the South Coast Regional Championships of 2024. We're at event 27, heat two. Riley Smith, lane one, Malwari, Flynn, Lawrence, Wollongong, lane two, Brady Irvin, lane three, Bega, Xavier Anderson, Canna Hooker, lane four, Mac Elliott, Warilla, lane five, Harry, Sergeant Wilson, Wanuna, lane six, Christian Ireland, Aladulla, lane seven, Cooper Walsh, lane eight, Warilla, Bodie Dunn, lane nine, Eden. Boys coming down into the wall here. It is the 16-year-old boys. Looks like Mac Elliott, Warilla Lane 5. <clears throat> he was uh, nicely surrounded by some of his uh, fellow competitors, though, Xavier Anderson, Harry Sergeant Wilson, and others. So... Uh, bit close for me to call there. Officials, I'll let them do the work. Some news. Tilly Fickers has broken the record in the 16-year-old girls for 100 free. The record was set in 1995 by Laurie Munns, a very well-established and successful swimmer. The old record, 59.66. The new record, Tilly Fickers smashed it by almost a full second. 58.66 is the new record. Tilly Fickers is the new record holder. Congratulations to her. We're getting towards the older age group, the big kids swimming, the seniors, 17 to 19 years, 100 metres freestyle. It is heat one of the senior girls Amy Prentice, Dapto lane one Chloe Marshall, uh, lane three sorry <laughs> Chloe Marshall will swim in lane four beside her Bomaderry, beside her Sophie Caldwell, lane five Monero Mary Highland from Goulburn, lane six Emily Elmer, Albion Park. She won't be swimming. So it is down to three girls. Amy Prentice, Chloe Marshall, four girls. I beg your pardon, four girls. Sophie Caldwell and Mary Highland will fight out heat one of the 17 years to 19 years girls. 100 free. Record. Set in 2022, Chelsea Jones. The record for the senior girls for the 100 free is 58.06. G 
girls turn. It appears to be Sophie Caldwell from Monero who is leading them into the final 25 metres. Sophie Caldwell. Either side of her, Chloe Marshall, Mary Highland. It's a very controlled and efficient swim. She brings it down to the wall. Sophie Caldwell, Monero. All right, we are at heat two now. Senior girls, Grace Healy, Illawarra Sports, lane one. Charlotte Greenwood, lane two. Shoal Haven, Mia Jones, Vincentia, lane three. Madison Jones, lane four. Winuna, Imogen Fickers, Smiths Hill, lane five. Felicity Shannon, lane six. From Yass, Zoe Brackenridge is swimming in lane seven. Winuna. Adina Hines, lane eight from Yass, and Jesse Doom is not swimming, so we have eight girls contesting the event. In fact, I'm going to modify that and say I think we have seven, but it is lane four by the looks. Madison Jones taking this down into the finish. And her company is with Felicity Shannon, lane six, followed by Zoe Breckenridge. Beautiful swim from all the girls this morning. Just past 10 o'clock, Eastern Summer Time. We've got a beautiful morning here in the Illawarra. The sun is shining. And we've seen some excellent swimming so far this morning with relays butterfly and 100 freeze time to throw your washing in moving into the senior boys 100 meters freestyle and the boys come up swimming we are in heat one malachi they in heat in lane three yes Beside him, leading it out, Axel Reeves, Vincentia. Come across to lane six, Joe Quinlan, Jinderbine, and Caleb Smith. Beside him, Carabar in lane seven. They're taking it around. Is Axel Reeves swimming in lane four? In the bright pink cap. And he has them where he wants them at the moment. He has the body length lead. He'll take it in and touch. The record for this event, senior boys, held by Jack Batson, set in 2019. And the record is 54.93. Great swim there from the boys in heat one. Heat two. Sam Rolf, Kira, lane one. Noah Johnson will swim in lane two. Warilla from Maruya beside him in lane three. Is Caleb Miles. Emilio Manuelian, Vincentia, lane four. Riley Gibbs, Yass, lane five. Declan Carriage, lane six. They're in and racing. Declan's from Canahooka. Storm, Balmain. From Warilla, lane seven. Christian Bressler, Bulleye, Matthew Higgum, lane nine. Nara, and as I look up, before I get a sight of it, I hear them coming as they thrash their way down the pool in um, 
glorious display of freestyle this morning. And it's uh, quite a powerful and efficient display as the senior boys turn and have 40 metres to swim. Uh, they are eating up the distance very, very quickly. And it's a great contest out front between lane five, Riley Gibbs, and lane six, Declan Carriage. But look at this out in lane eight, Christian Bresler. Bulleye is interested. And will this be one of those ones from out wide? It may be. Shades of Kieran Perkins uh, doing it in the 1500. Uh, not quite, but uh, as you can imagine, a lot of the seeding puts uh, some of the, the quicker swimmers qualifying from zone into the middle of the pool. So to win it, uh, and to be competitive from the wider lanes requires a pretty good view of things and a fierce determination. So we may have had Christian, Christian Bresler there. Uh, being successful from lane A, we're not sure. That's an official decision. We are moving into... Uh, we have a 50-metre event. Uh, and it is the multi-class mixed 12 to 19 years breaststroke. Officials are making their way, many of them, timekeepers, judges, etc., are making their way to the northern end of the pool. That'll be a nice relief for a lot of those people. They'll get to face away from the sun. There is a nice shade cloth there, uh, but they've been copying the the full brunt of the, of the sun coming in from the north here in the morning, so um, I'm sure they'll enjoy some relief at the northern end of the pool. They're just making their way up there, and then we'll have event 30. Event 30, the 12 to 19 years, 50 metres, breaststroke, multi-class, mixed. They're on their marks. Kelly Ryan in lane three, Warrawong. Um, Isaac Logan, lane five, Vincentia. Dakota Doust. Dapto, Tanea, Farmillo, Oladala. They make up the field. Isaac Dows looks like he might uh, post the time here. He comes into the wall. And ne the multi class swimmers in event 30 make their way to the finish in the breaststroke. It's a great performance. The good news is also that we have uh, relays, some more relays coming up with some medley relay. Just a poolside at the moment. We've got a presentation to Tilly Fickers. She's uh, broken, nay, smashed <laughs> uh, at least one record this morning of the 16 years girl. So uh, Paul Crichton, the event um, manager, is uh, presenting her with her awards. We make our way to the medley relays, and it is girls 12 to 19 years. It is open event. Order of uh, strokes here for medley relay. Uh, 
will be backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly and freestyle. Open medley relay. Open medley relay. Girls. Chinderbine, Dapto, Yas, Braidwood Central, Bega. We are now in the breaststroke leg of the open girls medley relay. It is, yes. Yes, from up on the southern tablelands. A very, very strong and proud history of swimming at their school. They have dominated the Tablelands uh, results and competitions for many, many years. Often managed to a lot of uh, their zone carnivals and a lady very heavily involved in school sport over many, many years, just a great strength and encouragement to school children uh, in and around the Yass area, but also throughout the state. Tracy Bills, heavily involved and very, very much respected and recognised teacher um, involved with sport in the Yass region. If she's watching and she's nearby, she'd be pretty happy with this. The Yass girls are coming in for a beautiful finish in heat one of the open girls medley relay so yeah the the yes swimming community very beautifully supported by a lot of parents and volunteers and they've had a lot of kids a lot of students enjoy uh, swimming for the school um, uh, over the years congratulations to their girls there and the other girls 
in all of those teams for Heat 1 of the Medley Relay. Heat 2 uh, sees the following arrangements. I don't think... Uh, no, we do. We have Mosvale swimming in lane 1. Kayama, lane 2. Aladala, lane 3. Warilla, lane 4. Wanuna, lane 5. Fig Tree, lane 6. Vincentia, lane 7. Mulwari, lane 8. Albion Park, lane 9. It's going to be a spectacle, this one, because we've got a full lineup of teams here. Nine teams. Uh, so we're going to be putting a whole host of swimmers through the water here in what is Heat 2 of the Open Girls Medley Relay. Their backstrokers are in the water. The girls are on their mark, or they will be on their mark. They're ready. They pull to their mark, and they are away. Heat two. Open girls, medley relay. All of the teams in a medley relay assemble their their best swimmer uh, in each specialist stroke and assemble that team. It is lane four, Warula, that have cleared out here. Their backstroker is having a fine old time out front and is going to hand over. Other schools are in good contact at the moment, though, as uh, they have their butterfly swimmers in the water. It is Warilla exerting their uh, authority at the moment. On the rest of the field, they're in lane four with Wanuna making some nice ground on them in the breaststroke leg. So it's a, a beautiful breaststroke leg here from the Wanuna swimmer and uh, Warilla are holding them. It's a nice swim there as well. A specialist stroke, breaststroke. It has its technicalities that the officials will be keeping an eye on. They will hand over. Great swim, both girls. All the breaststrokers finishing now. But uh, it is Wanuna who come out fighting in the butterfly leg. And their butterfly swimmer has taken it out to a body length in the first 25 metres. Very, very dominant swim here from Wanuna. She's going to try and hand over to their freestyle swimmer and giving them a little cushion. Let's see how it goes, which means the other girls are going to have some work to do coming down that final leg. No shortage of work from the Wanuna swimmer, though. She's been handed the lead, uh, and... She's accepted it with a beautiful amount of responsibility because she's extended it a little more. She's enjoying it out front and they are most likely going to post the fastest qualifying time coming in in lane five. Open girls, medley relay, Wanuna. Nice swim from all the girls there. Always great to watch the relays. And, um, you know, no, no shortage of, of, of action and effort. We've got a nice collection of spectators on the poolside. Hopefully you're enjoying the uh, broadcast if you're watching from, uh, from home or at school. You'll be pleased to know that everyone's enjoying good conditions here. Dapto today, if you're getting a break from your maths lesson or your... Social science, hizzy lesson, you could be anywhere. Who knows, you might be in a, a TAS lesson somewhere um, and teacher has allowed you to watch a little bit of swimming. Hope you're enjoying it. Boys medley relay now, open, heat one. Chinderbine, Aladala, Moss Vale, lanes five, six and seven. The boys prepare for backstroke. And they're away.
beautiful rhythmical sound of backstroke. Such a specialist stroke. The boys are doing a beautiful, efficient job of it. From Jindabyne, Ulladulla and Moss Vale. Lane five will lead them around. Lane five leading them around and into the breaststroke leg. And in that sense, it is Jindabyne. The boys from Jindabyne heading it out at the moment. So here we are, business end of Heat 1. And boys from Aladulla have had something to say about this in the middle legs. Uh, they have come over the top at the moment, but a uh, young man from Jindabyne here will not let him go, and he's within touch. He's going to bring this race right down to the wall, um, and he's going to contest it. It's a magnificent swim from both of these fellows. Gee, that's close. That's a uh, little bit of work for the officials there to determine that one. And young man from Moss Vale bring it in to complete heat one of the boys open medley relay. We'll head into heat two. Vincentia, Yass, Smiths Hill, Kiama, Hooker. Warilla, Dapto, Fig Tree, Malwari. Full lineup should be interesting. away backstroke swimmer is in the water and stroking and there is a significant amount of turbulence right across this pool at the moment as the backstroke swimmers in the open boys medley relay make their way down the pool heading up into the northern end they will change over hand over to their breaststroke swimmer Looks like uh, Canner Hooker making the change, handing over. You'll notice there's no dive in at the northern end. It's a, it's a shallow uh, finish start area at this pool, and therefore, in the interest of uh, safety and welfare, um, it is a start in the water for the swimmer, uh, the third swimmer in most relays. All right, here it is, lane five, Canner Hooker. Punching away a nice breaststroke leg and opening up five metres. Butterfly swimmer ready and away. Graceful entry for the butterfly swimmer there from Canna Hooker. But uh, no mucking around here as he moves into his work. And he glides up through 25 metres and maintains their lead. He's not letting anyone down here. He's, uh, he may have extended it, and he's going to hand over to the Canna Hooker freestyle swimmer. 
who's going to enjoy a, going to enjoy <laughs> the best part of a five metre lead. So um, as much as you can enjoy a, a finish like this, I think he might be doing it. He has 25 metres to swim, and he's. Um, not showing any sign of letting up as he brings it down into the last 10 metres. Strong finish, pushing into the wall, and he touches in a can of hook out. Warilla. Kayama surround them, and all of the boys now completing what was an excellent uh, exhibition of the specialist strokes in the medley relay. Well, a little bit of a change of pace now, uh, not for the swimmers, I'm sure, but but for the spectators in, um, in the sense that uh, we will move into slightly longer events. Uh, 200 metre individual events. 200 metres individual medley where each swimmer is required to perform each of the specialist strokes. We're going to have the 12 to 14 years girls first up uh, in event 33. And the record holder is uh, someone that has received some awards in the older age groups this morning. The record holder uh, is Tilly Fickers. Um, she set the record in 2022, a record of 235.49. I'm sure she'll take some interest uh, to see how that record holds up. We've got Heat 1, Lacey Dunn, Eden, Lane 3, Sophia Clough, Lane 4, Aladala, Cecily Thun, Carabar, Lane 5, Sophia Blake, Mossvale, Lane 6, Charlotte Davies, Aladala, Lane 7. And Marley Torpy from Eden is swimming in Lane 8 in what is Heat 1 of the girls' 12 to 14 years individual medley over 200 metres. So individual medley, uh, order of strokes, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and then freestyle, uh, a change from the order in a relay. So this is individual, and the order of strokes is butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. We have the girls now in heat one, 12 to 14 years, moving into the breaststroke leg. So the girls now um, into the final leg of the individual medley, heat one. Sicily, Cecily Thun, Carabar will make her way in. Comfortable lead of 10 metres. Lane five, she touches in. 
and we'll wait and see what the girls can do chasing her time in heat two. Heat two will be Ruby McBain, Eden, lane one, Sophia Neo, lane two from Caraba, Bonnie, Rigglesworth, lane three, Wirrilla, Sky Williams, Fig Tree will swim in lane four, Michaela Want from Coromel will swim in lane five, Alani Sims from Wirrilla, she'll swim in lane six, Madison Sedgwick, lane seven from Wanuna. Imogen Walsh will swim in lane eight from Marilla and Isabella Harrison from Bombardieri will swim in lane nine. Uh, slight correction there, Ruby McBain, uh, lane one will not swim. There is also no swimmer in lane seven or eight. Girls are on their mark. Heat two, girls 14 to 12 years, individual medley. Okay, and we are in the middle stages now. Breaststroke leg of the 12 to 14 years girls individual medley. It's a nice collection of swimmers, um, and some some of these girls, some of these girls have been competing earlier today, so. Fatigue probably not an issue for them at the moment, but as the day goes on, they often find themselves in a number of events and uh, can start to come into play later in the day. Here we go. We have lane four, Sky Williams taking them around. She has company from Michaela Want. Michaela Want moves up on her side. Uh, both these girls are going to take it down into the wall. I think Michaela Want... Might just have a slight advantage, but it's a nice finish. Could have been lane five there. Michaela Want from Coromel. Girls obviously know each other quite well. Having a little bit of a conversation, a bit of a chat. Recognising each other's efforts there. It's great to see. School sport set up, New South Wales, CHS, all of the regions very much encourages and looks forward to the, um, the, the recognition of um, each other's efforts. And the encouragement 
of each other's efforts, the athletes across all sports. So the code of, codes of conduct reflect um, the, the, the you know the the standards that are expected, high standards of conduct. And that uh, is played out across a whole range of sports across the New South Wales CHS program um, across many days of the school calendar. Part of that is um, that uh, athletes, swimmers, all sportsmen uh, show respect for each other and therefore that encourages students, makes them feel comfortable and welcome to participate on the, on the sporting stages of school sport. So you'll see athletes <coughs> that um, you know, have conversations with each other prior to events, during events, in uh, things like athletics um, and also the recognition of each other's efforts at the end of events, shaking hands, congratulating each other. That's a really uh, wonderful thing to see. It's encouraged um, not only at uh, competitive levels but also in um, sport and activities taking place at schools as well. So it's, um, it's embedded, if you like, part of the fabric of, of school sport. All right, we're going through here now in what is heat one of the 12 to 14 years boys individual medley. Cameron Lund, James Allen, Bo Smith, Archie Halliwell, Ziad El Assar, are the gentlemen that are competing in this first heat of the 200 metres, 4 by 50, if you like, uh, individual medley. Bailey Crean is the record holder in this event. He set the, um, set the record in 2018, and uh, the record is set at 231.81. Bailey Crean, Oak Flats. They're taking it around. It looks like we've got we've got James Allen, Batemans Bay, um, Archie Halliwell, Warilla uh, has slightly the better of him at the moment, and in pursuit, hot pursuit, Bo Smith, Dapto. In lane five. But we're going to have Archie Halliwell, lane six. Warilla posting the time from heat one for the boys in heat two to chase. Heat two. Boys 12 to 14 years, 200 metres. Individual medley. The field is as follows. Jacob Mabry will swim in lane one. Darcy Benson in lane two from Winuna. Benjamin Agnew, Fig Tree, lane three. Maxim Georgiev, Smiths Hill, lane four. Xavier Miles, lane five. Maruya, Lucas O'Malley, Barrel, lane six. Ashton Gowing, Bega, is not there. So it is down to Lucas O'Malley, lane six. He rounds out the field. Boys in heat two are away. They are up and swimming. It is Xavier Miles. Head-to-head uh, -head with Lucas O'Malley from Barrel. He's come down from the table, Lance.
And we do have, um, I didn't announce Jacob Mabry's school swimming in lane one, but he's come down from Bungendore on the southern tablelands. It is Xavier Miles. He was going to touch in and change, and he will now move into the breaststroke leg. He's got a nice lead. He has the best part of 10 metres over Lucas O'Malley from Barrel. Xavier Miles. Maria, lane five, had the little luxury, I think, of just having a peek over his shoulder. Uh, that's a very rare thing in swimming, but he does have a, a lead, and that allows him a little cushion to have a peek if he needs to. He will come down to the turn. He'll have 50 metres to swim, and he will turn it into freestyle. He'll come past his fellow competitors and have a rough idea of what sort of lead he has, and that's handy. And he's just lapping nicely this morning here at Dapto. He's got a very smooth and efficient stroke sitting on top of the water. It is Xavier Miles who's going to come in and post the time that will most likely qualify him for the New South Wales CHS Championships at Olympic Park in the middle of May. A nice second half to the end there for Maxim Georgiev. Smith's Hill, able to move past Lucas O'Malley from Barrel, he finished in third. We're going to the 15 to 16 year old age group now in event 35. From my observations from a distance, I'm saying they have amalgamated this, these two hits into one. And the officials confirm that it is one heat. Yeah, just back with you now, and we've uh, got some confirmation that this uh, these two heats have been amalgamated. Now, the 15 to 16 year old girls, uh, 200 meter individual medley. Um, the lane makeup is as follows: Ivy Canham, Batman's Bay, 
Lane 1. Bianca Grieve, Shoalhaven, Lane 2. Indiana Aikman, Albion Park is swimming in Lane 3. Marguerite Bresler, Bulleye swimming in Lane 4. <coughs> As the girls make their way down the pool in their final leg. Tilly Fickers, Lane 5. Liana Deary, Yass, Lane 6. Eloise Salter Hines is swimming Lane 9. Jackie Marshall swimming from Bombardier in Lane 7. And Hayley Bradley is swimming in Lane 8. It is Lane 5, Tilly Fickers. She's had quite a morning of it, uh, broken a couple of records already. And it'll be interesting to see how uh, that performance rates. She is the current record holder. So doesn't that make it interesting? Um, Tilly Fickers currently holds the record, set last year at 2 minutes 32.49. Let's see how that time this morning uh, goes for her. She has got what I'd say is a fairly heavy program, um, but I'd say, you know, with all respect, she probably had a heavy program last year when she set the record and probably the year before that. So, you know, no stranger to, to the hard work, Tilly Fickers and her fellow swimmers around her. The girls are coming in now to complete the 15 years, the 16 years, 200 metres individual medley. And um, it is quite a journey. The girls have done a great job. We have Hayley Bradley from Moss Vale. She moves into the final 25 metres. And when Haley touches in, she will complete the field for the girls' 15 to 16 years, 200 metres individual medley. In she goes, Haley Bradley from Moss Vale. If you're watching from the Tableland Schools this morning, welcome to the broadcast. The weather's warming up here. Pool temperature, the water is a beautiful 27, 28 degrees, the pool staff tell me. So uh, it's nice to get in and have a dip. But uh, there's not much dipping going on so far this morning. It's some pretty hard and competitive swimming. And we've been treated to some, um, to some great displays of all the swimming strokes and also a couple of new records. Boys, 15 to 16 years, a 200 metres medley in the water. Now, the current record holder, Bailey Crean, Oak Flats, 221.36. He set that in two, uh, 2020. The temperature now at Dapto is 27 degrees. So it's warming up. And the northeasterly breeze is helping a little just to keep it civilised and make it uh, a really enjoyable morning and day down here at the poolside at Dapto. We've got a nice collection of spectators on the poolside. Uh, obviously, uh, some parents and supporters, people that have come down, help their kids, uh, students get to the pool and then enjoying watching the competition. And we believe we have uh, a nice gathering of spectators away from the pool, watching the broadcast. If you are, welcome to the broadcast. I hope you're getting to watch some of the people that you know. And at the moment, you are watching the boys' 15 to 16 years, 200 metres individual medley. Our swimmers are Harrison Fisher. I think he's from Jerobombra. Blake Wigger from Jindabyne. Riley Smith from Mulwari. Aaron Molino. Naruma and Isaac Logan from Vincentia. They are the boys that are providing the entertainment, if you like, um, in the individual medley. Individual medley is an opportunity for you to see uh, boys and girls uh, who are excellent performers of uh, the four main swimming disciplines, if you like. Butterfly, breaststroke, backstroke and freestyle. 
Boys are making their way down now. The third 50-metre section, and they will conclude the breaststroke leg and swing it over into probably a, a more relaxing freestyle. Who knows what their preferred stroke is. But they turn. It is lane seven. It's with Isaac Logan. Lane seven. Isaac is representing Vincentia High School. But he has company in this final 25 metres. He has Aaron Molino from the rumour pushing up onto his shoulder. And Aaron is certainly interested. The boys are going to come down on the wall. There'll be some work here for the officials. Might have been Aaron Molino just getting over the top there. Really impressive swim. Held his nerve. Blake Wigger is in. And Harrison Fisher, Cherubombra, complete the field. In heat one of the boys, 15 to 16 years, 200 metres individual medley. Let's move into heat two. Christian Island will swim in lane one. In fact, Christian Island, I can't see him there, so lane one will be vacant. We're going in lane two. Ryland Burns, Bigger, Maximus Smythe, lane three. I can't see him there at the moment. He won't swim in lane three. Mac Elliott, lane four. Warilla, Lucas Morgan, lane five. Wanuna, Paxton Anderson, lane six. Canna Hooker, Samuel Lewis, Kira, lane seven. Kobe Sims, Warilla, lane eight. Lachlan McNeilidge from Moss Vale is there, and he will swim in lane nine. Lane one, lane three vacant. All the other contenders are there. In the 15 to 16 years, 200 metres individual medley. Hope you enjoy this race. As the boys make their way down the first leg of Butterfly in absolutely perfect conditions here at Dapto Pool this morning in the Illawarra. Temperatures in the mid-twenties. The light breeze just fluttering in from the northeast. And the boys turn and will move now into the backstroke leg. So they lay it back. And interestingly enough, we have some of the outside lanes. And we've got... We've got Paxton Anderson from Canahooker. Local kind of guy. Obviously knows the pool pretty well. And he's laying back and doing a beautifully strong job here in the backstroke. And he has established a lead. He will touch and turn to come into the breaststroke leg and it is Paxton Anderson from Canahooker who is enjoying this breaststroke he's got a great technique very determined out front but uh, these other guys are showing an interest now and they are coming at him but it is with still with Paxton Anderson probably knows the pool like the back of his hand Local guy, Canna Hooker, in the Dapto sort of region. Paxton Anderson will lead them down into the final turn. He will have 50 metres of freestyle to swim, and he'll take about a three to five metre lead into that turn, which is going to be handy because these other fellows are interested and they are near him. It is Paxton Anderson, and they're going to come at him now over this last 50 metres. But he has the four-metre lead, and that may be enough. Uh, you can sense a little urgency in the crowd that uh, they're encouraging their particular swimmers. with Ryland Burns in lane two doing a nice job from Bega. Uh, Paxton Anderson's done the job, though. He's, he's led it from uh, very, very early on at lane seven. 
he will be the fastest qualifier unofficially in the individual medley. We're going into the senior girls uh, individual medley here. No swimmer in lane one. Amber Virgo will swim in lane two. She is from Carabao. It looks like we're going to have one heat. Mia Jones will swim in lane three. Although I'm looking at lane three and I can't see Mia there. So no swimmer lane one, no swimmer lane three. Zoe Breckenridge from Wanuna is getting ready to swim in lane four. Imogen Fickers, Smiths Hill. She is not swimming. But Madison Jones in lane six is from Wanuna. Felicity Shannon, lane seven, yes. Charlotte Greenwood, Shoalhaven, eight. Make up the field. There are five swimmers. And they are churning away in the butterfly. Uh, we have Madison Jones, slight advantage. Uh, with a lane's gap over to Zoe Breckenridge, if she's got time to have a little look. She may not hear, but I'm sure she knows she's got company. They'll turn and come into the second 50. It is backstroke. All right, they are turning for the freestyle leg. They are well and truly into the freestyle leg, and it's been competitive throughout. Felicity Shannon, Madison Jones. Felicity Shannon from Yass down into the wall. Nice race, great event. Looks like an amalga amalgamated heat. Amalgamated heat. We'll get you the details in a moment about the new lane draw.
All right, back with it. And um, as we expected, an amalgamated amalgamated heats. Presentation taking place to Xavier Miles, poolside. A record, I think, in the 12 to 14 years medley. <clears throat> um, new record of 228.32. Uh, Xavier, I think, from Maruya. Congratulations to him. We are at... Um, we're coming into the freestyle leg. And our competitors here are Caleb Smith, Carabar, Wyland Hall, Kayama, Emilio Manuelian, Vincentia, Lucas... Krachewski, Warilla, Riley Gibbs, Yass, Declan Carriage, Counter Hooker, Jack Cox, Counter Hooker, Caleb Miles, Maruya. They are down to the wall, and it is Declan Carriage that will most likely bring them in. In the close company of Riley Gibbs from Yass. Apologies for uh, some late information there about the competitors in that event, but it was an, an amalgamated, two heats amalgamated into one. So it just took a little while to get the final lane draw for that event. But a uh, great swim by all of the boys in the senior boys, 200 metres individual medley. We've got some more relays coming up. All right, now we're moving into N39, which will be the 14 years age group for the 4x50 metres freestyle. 14 years girls are up first. Two heats. Heat one. If you're watching, hope you're enjoying the opportunity to watch your school swim here. Heat one. Lane four, bigger. Lane 5, Vincentia. Lane 6, Yas. Lane 7, Illawarra Sports. And lane 8, Maruya. They're away. Another one of these uh, speedy events where the girls are performing 50 metres each. The start is in the pool at the northern end. Their swimmers are waiting for them for the second leg. Heat 1, 14 years girls, 4 by 50 metres freestyle. We are at event 39 in the program. And it is a beautiful day down here at Depto. Second swimmer making their way into the wall. We'll bring it into uh, 100 metres and hand over to the third swimmer. In lane five, Vincentia will change in front of Bigger. Yass is in the water now, as is Illawarra Sports. And young lady from Maruya, a nice effort. We'll hand over to a third swimmer. It's a very, very good swim. <clears throat> Turn our attention to the northern end of the pool. It will be Vincentia who will hand over. If you're watching from Vincentia this morning, welcome to the broadcast. Hope you're enjoying it. And from wherever you are watching throughout the South Coast region or beyond. It is Vincentia in the 14-year-old girls, 4 by 50 metres freestyle. They're doing it quite nicely out in front. They will swim into the wall. They will set the standard for this age group in heat one, and the girls and swimmers in heat two will try and chase it down.
in heat two. We have the following schools that will prepare to swim. We have Maruya completing the journey now in lane eight. Congratulations to them and all of the girls in heat one. Heat two will be made up of the following schools. Lane one, Smiths Hill. Lane two, Mulwari. Lane three, I cannot see a swimmer there. Uh, lane four, cannot see a swimmer there at the moment. But lane five, Warilla. Lane six, Kayama. Lane seven, Wollongong, Lane 8, Fig Tree, and Lane 9, Jerobombra. Can't see Jerobombra there. Girls are on the blocks. They're on their mark. And the starter is not happy. He will ask them to stand down. There must be a little unsteadiness there. Um, <clears throat> someone will be spoken to. Might have been some movement from the officials. Starter just wasn't happy. We'll put them through the process once again. And now they are away. It's clean. All right, so it looks like our makeup of schools is as follows. Smith's Hill Lane 1, Mulwari Lane 2, Warilla. They're going to hand over first in lane five. Kayama, lane six. Wollongong, lane seven. And Fig Tree, lane eight. It is in the 14-year-old girls. 200 metres. The four by 50 metres, if you like. Relay. Lane five. Warula hauling the mail at the moment. And setting the standard. They have a five-metre lead. They will hand over to put their team into the final 100 metres of this event. Their third swimmer is in the water. She comes up swimming. And uh, is doing a very, very nice job of it out in front. She has the best part of an eight-metre lead. Over fellow teams, Kayama and Wollongong. Kayama and Wollongong. Level pegging. Fighting out the position for two and three here at the moment. Warula handover. Comfortable lead. Excellent full body action here. The legs are working. And it is Warilla with their final swimmer. Maintaining the best part of eight metres coming down into the wall. She will have half a dozen strokes into the wall. And she will touch in with willing competition. Now six and seven. Goodness me, let the officials sort that out. Uh, too close. Great swim. Very entertaining. Uh, exciting races to watch the relays generally. And... The 14 years girls have provided us with no exceptions. Great swim from all those girls. We will now move into event 40. It's the 14-year-old boys. Four by 50 metres. Freestyle relay.
it looks like they're going to go in two heats here. And it is indeed heat one on the blocks. Dapto lane four. Mulwari lane five. Kayama lane six. Albion Park lane seven. And Shoalhaven in lane eight. They are all away. Lane six doing slightly the better Kaima at the moment. Another school that's got had some great success with swimming over the years. They've had some excellent swimmers make their way through zone, region, into the state and international level. And their 14 years boys team is doing them proud as they change and launch their second swimmer. Uh, but he's got well, he has work to do here as all second swimmers have you know in the early stages of a relay where they are trying to establish a foundation for the rest of the team but the second swimmer from Kaima has drawn this out to a maybe a four meter lead which is very very handy at this stage of this event he will make the handover to the third swimmer and has done an excellent job third swimmer for Kaima in the water Looks like he's no stranger to this type of event either. And he's got his head down, working, and he's taken it out as well. He's already extended the lead. So Kaima have come with a, uh, a pretty strong and efficient team of swimmers here in the 14 years boys. And they're putting the others to the test in heat one. The difficulty in swimming with, in heat one is that you don't know what sort of time is coming at you from the boys in heat two. So... Your team or individual swimming in the earlier heats really have to push uh, to the best of their potential and set the best time they can. Fourth swimmer here from Kayama. No exceptions. They've just gathered a very, very good team of freestyle swimmers. And he will come down to the wall. Considerable lead. Touching in Kayama. Let the others chase them. Very, very impressive. Closing stages of Heat 1. 14 years, boys. 4 by 50 metres freestyle relay. Bit of fun for everybody, the relays, a lot of uh, competitors like them, that nice team atmosphere. Spectators uh, often find it very entertaining, a chance to cheer on and encourage a team. We're going to move into Heat 2. It doesn't look like a complete line-up here behind the blocks. So I'll give you the the configuration here of what this... Relay's going to look like lane one, yes. Lane two, Aladala. Bega, lane four. Smith's Hill, lane seven. I'm thinking it's Monero, lane eight. And Illawarra Sports, lane nine. So, some vacant lanes in the middle of the pool. Right, our 14 years boys, heat two. Um, the pressure's on. The game is afoot here because the Kayama guys from uh, Heat 1 set a very, very impressive time, I'm sure, with their swim. It was very strong. We're going to come here down into lane 7. And we've got Smith's Hill are going to hand over 100 metres to swim.
they've got to have half an eye on the clock, all of these swimmers, because of that uh, nice swim by the Kiama team in heat one. So we've got Smith's Hill in lane seven, and their main competition is coming at them from the other side of the pool in lane three, Wollongong. It's a fair bit of, of effort and energy going in here because we're sitting at the pool side and um, the swimmer in lane nine is uh, generating a, a bit of force to the point where they're splashing us as they go by. So it gives us some idea as to the amount of, uh, amount of energy going in here. We've got a really interesting race here because Smith's Hill have just tried to hold on. They've been doing it uh, for over 300, uh, sorry, 200, almost two, the whole 200 metres. Wollongong are coming at them, as is Bega, and that's going to come down to the officials. Great credit to all of those swimmers. Smiths Hill were at the head of that event for most of it, but the other schools did not uh, let them have it all their own way. So, uh, Aladulla, yes. Bigger, um, certainly made them work for it, as did Kira. Sorry, as did uh, Monero. Girls, twelve-year-olds now back into some individual events. Breaststroke, 100 metres. Heat one. Amelia Nixon. Maria in lane four. Lina Chen. Smith's Hill. Lane five. Violet Erikin. Kayama, lane six. All right, everybody, uh, if you're watching from your schools or beyond, 
We're at event 41 in the program. Girl 12 year, girls 12 years old, 100 metres, breaststroke. Second heat. Starter not happy. Line up as follows. Emerson Boatswain, Bomaderi, lane two. Evangeline Rogers, lane three. Warilla, Isla Pearson, Bulli, lane four. Gabriella Ferrero, lane five. Jerobombra, Madeline Knipe, Mal Warry, lane six. Olivia Rogers, lane seven. Warilla, Layla McIntosh, lane eight. Mal Warry, Jag Spain, Illawarra Sports, lane nine. And the girls are away in what is almost... A complete lineup across the pool. Lane one, uh, the only lane that is unoccupied as the girls make their way from south to north. And it is Gabriella Ferrero, lane five, that has punched it out to a very, very early lead. She's dominated that first 25 metres of the event. She will take them down into the wall and she will turn and have a maybe a brief moment to observe where her opposition lies. But it didn't look like she worried about it too much. She turns straight into her work and extends her lead. It is out to 12 metres. Comfortable. This is Gabriella Ferrero, I believe, Jerob Bombra, if, uh, if my program is correct, and I think it is, she has the Jera cap of Jerob Bombra on, and it is working. She is working her way beautifully down the pool into the final 10 metres. She has just uh, taken complete control of this heat two of the 12 year old girls. She will come in light into the wall and that completes a very very nice swim appears that she has some uh, supporters on the pool side and that they really enjoyed her work she's got the luxury of removing the cap watching her fellow competitors come in and that's a great swim from all of the girls in the 12 years age group making their debut I would imagine at South Coast Secondary Swimming Trials. There's some of that excellent sportsmanship and camaraderie that we have talked about that CHS Sport encourages and enjoys to see competitors recognising each other's efforts. Congratulations. Let's move into Event 42. 12 years boys, breaststroke, 100 metres. All right, so our lineup here uh, with a couple of uh, vacant lanes is Luke Baldwin, lane two, Mulwari. Joey Morgan is swimming in lane three. Joey is from Ulladulla. Beside him, lane four, Riley Van Arkels, Wanuna. Miss a couple of lanes and come across to Charlie Hislop. From Illawarra Sports, Charlie is swimming in lane seven.
and Jacob Carruthers, Wanuna beside him. He's just checking out the opposition here. He's having a look across to see where everybody lies. He's in touch. Is Cameron Galati. So it's a nice swim. It's going to be on the eastern side of the pool. Not in the middle. Looks like Luke Baldwin is going to bring it down to the wall. And in lane two, he will touch them out from Mulwari. Luke Baldwin. All right, we're moving into two heats now for the 13-year-old girls. 100 metres breaststroke. Lucy Morris will swim in heat one. Lane three, Eden. Phoenix Anderson, counter hooker. Lane four, Kaya Nile, Ala Dulla. Cadence Phillips, lane six, Jindabyne. Marley Hodgkin, Bega, lane seven. Sienna Walters will go in lane eight. And she does with the rest of them as they head into the first 50 metres of 100 metres of breaststroke. It's lane six heading this one out at the moment. Cadence Phillips. She's come up from Jindabyne, possibly uh, the day before, I would say. And uh, the opportunity to rest overnight with a little bit of luck. But who knows? Sometimes people travel uh, on the morning uh, and then arrive at the championships. Cadence is doing well, though. She's uh, from Jindabyne and in lane six, doing very well. She has uh, the best part of her body length here, and she will try and hold on to that as the competition starts to come at her now. She has a peek over the right shoulder. Uh, I'm sure she can sense them coming. And we have in lane four, Phoenix Anderson coming at her could have slightly the better here. So Phoenix Anderson seems to have forged her way to the front, lane four. It's a really strong second half of the swim, and she punches into the wall. Unofficial result. Phoenix Anderson over Kaya Nile, Cadence Phillips, Marley Hodgkin, Sienna Walters, and Lucy Morris. Heat two. Addie Diamond from Kayama will swim in lane one. She is there. Annabelle Feld standing at the block for lane two. Cecily Thun, Carabar, is not there in lane three. Beside block number four is Isabella Harrison, Bomaderi. Ivy Lynch is at lane five. Ava Dragovic from Illawarra Sports. Stands at lane six. Sophia Neo Carabar, lane seven. No swimmer in lane six, uh, lane eight. And Kalani Chambers is ready to go in lane nine. She is from Bulla. And the field is away in 13 years girls. 100 metres breaststroke, heat two. And they come up swimming. A little bit even at the moment to try and find um, a definite leader. But I think we've probably got to look at Ivy Lynch from Bulleye in lane five. Uh, the familiar colours. Oh, we're in 
made a stretch back, line three was disqualified, and led movement was continuous throughout the race. Occasionally you may hear over the public address system the announcement of um, well, a whole range of uh, attributes associated with the carnival, but one of them is, um, I guess, one of the, 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 the less pleasant things about the carnival is a disqualification notice, and um, it is the responsibility uh, of the referees and officials to observe and maintain the, and apply the rules of the various the execution of the various strokes. Where that does not occur, um, a swimmer is open to the possibility of a disqualification and that is announced so that all swimmers are aware of um, what has happened in an event. Um, so a disqualification will be announced, not the name of the swimmer, but the event, the lane and the reason for the disqualification um, just so that everyone is informed and in the interest of transparency. Um, it is the general practice at, uh, at most major swimming events. Next event, 13-year-old boys. 100 metres, breaststroke. It's looking like two heats. Hunter Brain, lane three. Ethan Doherty, lane four. Quinn Andrews, lane five. Patrick Turner, lane six. Jack Clark, lane seven. Cody Knight, lane eight. Make up the field for heat one. Hunter Brain from Ulladulla. Ethan Doherty, yes. Quinn Andrews, Bulleye. Patrick Turner, Mulwari. Beside him, one of his fellow students Jack Clark also my worry Cody Knight Shoalhaven going out of lane eight they are on their blocks and out of that lineup Jack Clark uh, did not uh, appear so therefore We have five swimmers in heat one. It is being led out by Quinn Andrews from... Sorry, Ethan Doherty from Yass in lane four. And he continues to hold a slim advantage. Just a message that the crane port at the moment is missing a few numbers, indicators, and it's only saying the event that's in the water at the present time. So the crane port is only the event that's in the water at the present time. Now, Ethan Doherty led the boys into the turn in the 13 years boys of heat one but uh, Patrick Turner has exerted his influence in the first part of the return leg and he's from Bulleye uh, Quinn Andrews sorry has uh, done slightly the better in that second 50 he comes in and touches Patrick Turner right beside him and then Ethan Doherty. <coughs> Cody Knight now from Shoalhaven will come down and touch out. He finishes and rounds out the field for Heat 1. Heat 2, Will Loxley, Lane 1, Kiama, Josh Gillette, 
Oak Flats. Max Cohen, lane three. Warilla, Jordan Shepherd, lane four. Bega, Xavier Miles, Maruya, lane five. Ben Agnew, Fig Tree, beside him in lane six. Jesse Lawrence, lane seven. Naruma, Archie Halliwell, Warilla, going in lane eight. Mano, Kokoji, and Arcus. Smith's Hill, lane nine. Event 45, 14-year-old girls, heat one, breaststroke over 100 metres, Liliana Klimiuk, Vincentia, lane three, Emma Lyons, lane four, Braidwood Central, Ruby McIntosh, Malwari, lane five, Miller Kelly, lane six from Bega, Malwari representative, Violet Edmonds, lane seven, uh, Lenny McKillop from Eden is lane eight. That makes up our field for hit one of 14-year-old girls, 100 metres. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls back in the schools, very fortunate to um, have with us uh, one of our very successful swimmers today, Xavier Miles. Uh, thanks for joining us, Xavier. I know you've got a fair bit on in your program today. Can you give us a rundown about how many ev events you're in, some of the other events you've got to come today? I pre I'm, like, every single event I could qualify, I pretty much qualified in, and I've pretty much done most of my events. I've only got a couple left, and I've been doing pretty well today. I've got 
mostly, mostly first, or pretty much all first. You certainly have, and I believe you were presented with a record. Is that? Uh, am I correct? Yeah, I did. Get, I got a record in the 200 IM, 12 to 14 years. Lovely. Uh, tell us a bit about the place you come from. I come from not from Maria, but I come from Badala, which is like probably like 15 minutes away from Maria. It's really it's a really small town. It doesn't really have that many people that live there. And I to for train I have to drive 15 minutes to Naruma, which I train in Naruma, and I live in Badala and I go to school at Maria. <laughs> Fantastic. How long does it take to travel up from Maria to swim at the South Coast Championships? About three hours or two hours. I'm going to think that you travelled up last night. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct. Okay. Where are you staying? Um, I don't really remember. It's, I think it's a river, something like that. All right. Well, that'll, that'll at least trim back the number of uh, the, all of the, what well, they call it, paparazzi that might follow you around and autograph hunters. So that'll reduce that number that you have to deal with when you get back to your, back to your hotel. I think you probably got experience at levels beyond this, maybe the state level. Am I correct? Can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, I do have a little bit of exp- oh, a lot of experience of above this level because last year I got I went to all the way to all schools and I got a first place at all schools, and the year before that I went all the way to nationals and I came first in a couple of events at nationals. Fantastic! You've, you've, your swimming's going very very well. Anyone you'd like to say good day to back uh, back at Maruya? My coach Riley and my dad, they're both probably sitting at home, probably even watching this, but yeah. I'm sure they appreciate that. Um, Look, we want to congratulate you on your success so far and uh, wish you all the very best with the events that you've got to come and no doubt at the the state championships. Um, As we said, good luck dealing with the paparazzi when you get back to the hotel, but uh, great work so far and thanks for joining us for an interview. All the best, mate. No worries. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. That was uh, Xavier Miles, nice young man who's come up from Maruya. Great to chat to one of our um, one of our successful swimmers today. All right, back to it, and uh, some g- nice insight into the life uh, of one of the younger swimmers here today, Xavier Miles. He's got a couple of events to go today. Good luck to him. I believe we are in event 45 at the moment. Girls, 14 years breaststroke. Actually, I think that would be event 46. Boys, 14 years. Breaststroke. Now, I may have missed announcing some swimmers' names there in the throes of the interview, but we'll certainly get back into that. Um, Hopefully get your name mentioned. Um on the broadcast if we have missed you during uh, an interview during a swim our apologies but um, 
hopefully people are enjoying the broadcast. I think this will be event 46. It's correct. The event that is in the pool at the moment is event 46. It is heat two. Peyton Hessian in lane one. Ashton Jamison lane two from Monero. Jake Deary lane three. Yes. Maxim Georgiev, Smith's Hill lane four. Xavier O'Connor, Kayama lane five. Lucas O'Malley, Barrel, Lane 6. Alexander Smythe, Wollongong, Lane 7. Ashton Gowing, Lane 8, Bega. And beside him, another boy from Bega, Malachi Nave. We are in the second heat of the boys' 14 years, 100 metres breaststroke, event 46. Nice swim from all of the boys. 14 years, 100 metres breaststroke. We're going to move up now into event 47. It will be the 15-year-old girls. Now it appears that they will be going in two heats. That will give us the following arrangement in Heat 1. Molly Boundy is not there in Lane 3, but in Lane 4, Amelia Doherty, uh, yes. I believe she might have a brother swimming here today as well. Uh, Lillian Wiecek, Lane 5. Will not swim. Now, we've just had a little... A loss of balance there, I think, at the start. And the officials will uh, now make a decision about what will happen here. The official is walking across. They believe, I would say, that was... Uh, I think there might have been a noise in the crowd that affected that, that start. Uh, anyway, everyone's uh, just regaining their blocks. It is Amelia Doherty and Josie Hudson uh, who are the con two competitors in Heat 1 of the 15-year-old girls. Josie is from Raidwood Central. Amelia is from Yass. They are both Southern Tablelands girls. So a, a blemish at the start in uh, championships like this, uh, school-based, any level occasionally, that will not always be, I mean, there, there will be a, a decision made by the officials as to um, the cause of that, um, of that inf possible infringement. And if it is, I guess if it is decided that uh, the athlete is the major cause of that, 
then that, I guess that is, that, that is a possible disqualification. But I also believe that it is not always, it may be decided that it is not always um, you know, falling on the shoulders of the athlete. Sometimes uh, the officials or the starter will find cause to um, allow the race and the athlete to continue particularly if the cause of the infringement has come from outside the athlete. For example, a noise in the crowd, a movement, um, something like this. Uh, occasionally there might even be a noise with something to do with uh, the starting equipment. And therefore, the athlete is not at fault of the infringement. And the officials will take all of this into account. So... Um, we did have a swimmer that uh, appeared to go in a little early there. I found that there was something um, at play that may have caused that. It wasn't her, and therefore she continues in the event, which is great. Good for the swimmer. Great work by the officials. Heat 2, girls 15 years, 100 metres of breaststroke. Full lineup of competitors. Here's the lineup. Zoe Hurst, Illawarra Sports, lane one. Lucy Quinlan, lane two. Jindabyne as they come up swimming. And Sienna Wu, Biga, lane three. Peyton Tepuk, Wanuna, lane four. Eloise Hines Salter, middle of the pool, lane five. Jared Bombra, Nyla Lynch, Bulli, lane six. Jasmine Stove, Queenbian, lane seven. Charlotte Miller, Kayama, lane eight. Zali Ritchie, Aladala, lane nine. Girls make their way to the turn. And it is lane four, Ryland Burns, Bega, who will make the turn and have Paxton Anderson right with her as they come up for the final 40 metres of swimming. It's a good contest, good for spectators. She holds the lead. It is Peyton Tepuk, Wanuna, just extending the lead. She has the slight advantage over Nyla Lynch. And she holds it. She's held, she's held her nerve over that uh, second 50. The girls look across at each other, uh, realise they've been in a good competition. Lanes three and eight in now. Riley O'Connor and Tyler Andrews. And the complete field now of an excellent uh, girls 100 metres breaststroke to 15 years is completed. All right. By all appearances, looks like two heats of the 15-year-old boys. Two heats. Harrison Fisher, Jared Bombra, lane four. He stands at the block. Harvey Ring, Kayama, makes his way onto the blocks in lane five. Mackay, Bailey, Jared Bombra, lane six. Got some swimmers coming out of Jared Bombra today. Lane seven, Jack Robinson, Shoal Haven, Miller Hughes, Chinderbine. Lane eight. So event 48, it is. Heat 1, 15-year-old boys.
Straight down the middle of the pool from Kayama. Harvey Ring. Lane five. Has it all to himself at the moment. And a 10 metre lead over Jack Edgecombe. Harrison Fisher. Harvey Ring. Harvey Ring is the man from Kayama. He comes in. Mekai Bailey, Jack Robinson, and Miller Hughes. Harvey Ring, Kayama. Fastest qualifier, heat one, 15 year old boys. Another impressive sight. We have it here. A complete lineup of swimmers. Heat two. Ziggy Winley, Mossvale, Kobe Sims, Warula. In lane three, Riley O'Connor, Kayama, Ryland Burns, Bega, lane four, middle of the pool, Maximus Smythe, Kira. Paxton Anderson, Kana Hooker, lane six, Lucas Morgan. Wanuna, lane seven. Tyler Andrews, lane eight. Wanuna. Baxter Devine, lane nine. Warilla. They are making their way uh, from south to north along the pool. And it is Maximus Smythe that has come out very, very strongly and made a statement in that first. 25 to 50 metres, he turns and he has quite an impressive lead after only 60 metres of swimming. But he has established himself quite nicely at the head of this field. Um, looks strong and appears to be enjoying himself out in front. He's full of swimming. He's had a pretty strong program this morning and it doesn't appear to be affecting him. From Kira, Maximus Smythe will come down into lane five and do the two-handed touch and post the fastest time from heat two. Will it be uh, the time that sends him into the CHS Championships? Most likely. And then that time will affect his uh, seating and placement in heats at Olympic Park in the middle of May, in the 100 metres breaststroke. So swimmers will get to enjoy, and parents will get to enjoy a, a, little, a little break in school, I think, and an Easter, a nice Easter occasion, and then set their sights uh, firmly on the New South Wales CHS Championships at Olympic Park. Right beside Homebush, um, the 13th to the 15th of May. Occasionally, occasionally, the the CHS Championships have been um, aligned alongside a very close to the Easter show. And therefore, you've got a collection of uh, really interesting individuals that have come from all over the, the state and elsewhere gathering at Homebush over those days. We've got 16 years girls here, uh, event 49, in a program of 99 events coming up to the halfway mark. Heat one, Lily Todd Aladulla. Donnellan, Barbarona, Moss Vale in lane seven.
We are in event 49, heat one of two heats. It is the 100 metres breaststroke for 16 year old girls. If you are watching in schools, the age group refers to the age that you are turning in the year of competition. So if you are a student that enjoys and turns up to, uh, as I imagine everybody does, their school swimming carnivals, cross-country running carnivals and athletics, uh, if you are uh, turning 16 years old in 2024, the 16 years is your age group to compete in. It's interesting sometimes because one of your mates might be uh, turning a different age in that year and you have to sort of wish them well as they go off to their event and you, and then uh, see how they go they might not be competing alongside you we're going into heat two 15 year old 16 year old girls Maeve, Stella, Rich Wollongong, Lame One Kaya Rickson, Lane Two, Nara. Indiana Aikman going out of Lane Three, Albion Park. From Bigger Tasman Messenger in Lane Four. Liana Deary, Yass is in lane five. Marguerite Bresler, Bulli, lane six. Bianca Grieve, Shoalhaven, she is swimming in lane seven. Ivy Canham from Batemans Bay is swimming in lane eight. Lucy McClelland, Yass, lane nine. Heading it out from Bulli, Marguerite Bresler has just three quarters of the body length lead to Liana Deary from Yes. And they are in the middle of the pool. Ten metres to swim. Marguerite Bresler, Bulli, glides in, makes the touch. And I imagine she's pretty happy with that swim. She was... Pushed along there at one point, uh, most of the way, actually by Liana Deary and Indiana Aikman and Tasman Messenger. Bianca Grieve is in from Shoalhaven. Ivy Canham is in from Batemans Bay. Lucy McClelland, Maeve Stella Rich and Kaya Rickson are all home. Event 50, the swimmers are at their blocks. 16-year-old boys, 100 metres breaststroke. Starter has the boys underway. They are up and swimming. The swimmers are... Aaron Molino, Nara, Robert Shannon, Smiths Hill, Jacques Dussan, Carabar, Lane 6, Bodie Dunn, Eden, Lane 7. Robert Shannon just has the lead at the 50 metre mark. But uh, he has 
the company of Bodie Dunn, uh, two lanes across. And Bodie is well and truly in touch here. He is on his shoulder. And on his hip on the other side for Robert Shannon is Aaron Molino from the Rumor. And Aaron Molino uh, appears to enjoy the last 25 metres of a 100 metre breaststroke race because he's he's pushed ahead and uh, he's had an excellent second half to that event. Aaron Molino, lane four, unofficial result for the 100 metres in heat one. Heat two, Lachlan McNeely, Mossvale will go in lane one. In fact, Lachlan is not swimming in lane one. But Brody Irvin is swimming. He's from Bega and he's standing at the block in lane two. Mac Elliott beside him, lane three. He's from Warilla. Flynn Lawrence, lane four. These guys probably all know each other, raced against each other many times. Wollongong, no swimmer. In. Oh, there is a swimmer in lane five, and it's Xavier Anderson. Riley Smith, Mulwari, lane six. From Fig Tree, Lachlan Fisher, lane seven. Cooper Walsh, representing Warilla, is in lane eight. And Rome Foots, Aladala, on the western side of the pool. He's in lane nine. Uh, we've got uh, lane two here, Brody, Brody Irvin, who is, um, I don't say surprising anyone, he's uh, a very strong swimmer. There in lane two. And uh, giving him a because he's going to go close to changing in front, but it will be lane five, Xavier Anderson, who takes them around. And gives them 45 metres to reel him in. Uh, he has changed in front. And he's maintaining his lead. We've still got Brody Irvin doing very, very well out there on the eastern side in lane two. Uh, and he is right in the mix for uh, second, third places here. Xavier Anderson taking them away. Flynn Lawrence, lane four, will come in behind him. Pretty close. Riley Smith, Brody Irvin. Officials are going to have to sort all of that out. For the 16 years boys, we go to the senior girls. 100 metres breaststroke in an attempt to qualify for the New South Wales CHS Championships. Still a couple of months away. It looks like an amalgamated heat here.
So an amalgamation there. And it is Felicity Shannon, lane four. Yes, bringing them in. Madison Jones, lane six from Wanuna. So the competitors were Amber Virgo, Grace Healy, Ramesa Calcan, Felicity Shannon, Charlotte Greenwood, Madison Jones, Bridie Linton, Sophie Caldwell, uh, Zoe Breckenridge, I th uh, sorry, Adina Hines. Sorry about the late uh, information there, but we had an amalgamated heat. There was a case of uh, <coughs> trying to access that uh, final final makeup of swimmers. I think we got them in the end. We got the boys, seniors, and senior boys will go in two heats. Heat one, Texas Johnson lane for. Malachi Vaya, lane five. Axel Reeves is not there, but Caleb Smith is in lane seven. There are three swimmers in heat one. Heat one here for the senior boys. Texas Johnson, Malachi Vaya and Caleb Smith. They are the swimmers that we're looking at as they turn with 45 metres to swim. Malachi Vaya. He has the lead. Gliding along, along nicely are the boys. Their best bet is to uh, try and post a time here that, that Heat 2 swimmers can't get in touch with, but the Heat 2 swimmers will have a little more company and therefore will be pushed along as well. The Heat 2 swimmers will have more swimmers in that heat. At the moment, Heat 2 is looking like this. Looked like Malachi Vea um, successful there in Heat 1. Daniel Morby is lining up to swim in Lane 2 from Albion Park. Jacobus Botes, Lane 3, Dapto. Charlton Whistler, Lane 4, Bulleye. Riley Gibbs, yes, lane five. Christian Bressler, lane six, Bulleye. Wyland Hall is swimming in lane seven. Kayama. Jack Cox, counter hooker, lane eight. Emilio Manuelian, Vincentia. I don't think he is swimming, which gives us... Uh, Competitors across to lane eight. Senior boys. Great contest here. Christian Bressler, Riley Gibbs going at it in the middle of the pool. Lanes five, lane six. Representatives from Bulleye and Yass, respectively, probably ran into each other uh, across the swimming uh, meets prior to this. And it is Riley Gibbs, unofficially, just over Christian Bresler. They congratulate each other. 
Great to see. As does Charlton Whistler on his other side from Bulleye, showing the great uh, sportsmanship, particularly evident amongst the senior athletes. Uh, some of these fellows have swum against each other for a number of years, and therefore it's, it's handshakes and congratulations all around. They, they enjoy competing against each other. They enjoy each other's success, I am sure. Um, and, uh, I mean, apart from all, all of that, there's a beautiful example to all of the younger swimmers that are watching uh, at the poolside, and I'm sure you like um, seeing that kind of thing as part of the broadcast. The senior boys not letting us down there in terms of uh, excellent sportsmanship. Relay. Interesting little relay it is. All age, girls, six swimmers. Six swimmers, one from each age, swum in any order. Makes it such an interesting event. You can have a 12-year swimmer going in the first leg, uh, for example, against a 17-plus-year swimmer. By the end of it all, everyone will have swum, but uh, it's uh, very, very interesting to try and keep a track of because uh, you can have your young swimmers swimming against your older swimmers and vice versa, <coughs> etc., etc. We have in heat one of the all-age relay for the girls, Goulburn, Jindabyne and Shoalhaven. They make their way down the second leg. Now, whatever happened in that first leg, whoever swam against who, whichever age group swimmer swam against the other, doesn't really matter at the moment because they are all very, very level. Um, and you can see uh, the next swimmers on the blocks. Um, and who knows who you're swimming against. Lane six will hand over just in front. The girls from Jindabyne, if you're viewing the competition today in the championships, coming to you from DAPTO, welcome to the broadcast. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if you're viewing us, I mean, one of the beautiful things is if you are all the way down there at Jindabyne, um, good afternoon. Hope you're having a nice day down there. Probably starting to gear up for a nice ski season, I assume. But we're in autumn at the moment, and here we are at DAPTO in the temperature in the mid-20s. And... Shoalhaven have had a bit to say about this. The Shoalhaven girls from the coast have handed over, and I wouldn't mind betting um, that this might be their 12 years swimmer in the water at the moment. I could be wrong. But uh, whoever she is, she's doing a fine job, putting her head down and trying to hold off a very determined Jindabyne outfit uh, who can't make an impression on her at the moment. And I just got a feeling we've got a couple of the younger girls in for Jindabyne and Shoalhaven. And I think Goulburn might have thrown in one of their older girls there. And they are over the top now. They will hand over in lane four, Goulburn. They're away. They have 100 metres to swim. And they are going to have a 20-metre advantage. Make it 18. Um, 
that these other schools are going to have to peg back. Uh, it looks like they know all about it because the girls from Jindabyne and Shoalhaven have uh, put the foot down, particularly Jindabyne here. They're trying to make some ground, trying to peg something back. Let's see what Goulburn have got left in terms of their final swimmer. Let's see how, uh, how she's feeling, and she's away, and she's got the uh, responsibilities of the team on her shoulders. What a, what a challenge. You obviously put this last leg in the hands of someone uh, who can handle it, and wow, she's doing a fantastic job. A young lady from Goulburn. No stranger to the heat of competition, I wouldn't think. The girls have given her the job of bringing this home over the last 50 metres. She'll bring it down into the wall. She has 10 metres to swim. Her stroke is smooth and elegant. And she will just ease into the wall and do the job for the Goulburn girls. Nice win coming from behind in heat one. Jindabyne are home. Well, who's watching from Goulburn today? Hope you are. If you are, welcome. Um, might be a little bit warm up in Goulburn today. It tends to come and go a little bit when it's very cold. It can certainly cool down. Hope you're having a nice time. Uh, maybe your teachers have got you allowing, allowing you to watch a little bit of swimming today. We have Shoalhaven in as well. Great swim from all of those girls. Heat 2. Schools are as follows across the pool. Bomaderi, Dapto, Warilla, Malwari, Wanuna. Middle of the pool, lane five. Smiths Hill, lane six. No swimmer, lane seven. Kayama, lane eight. Illawarra Sports, lane nine. Here we are, first swimmer in the water. All age. Who knows which age groups are swimming age group swimmer is swimming here lane five Wanuna punching it out they put someone in the water first up to swim with some authority and put a stamp on the race they've certainly done that Wanuna in the first 70 meters their first two swimmers have really set a standard here they've taken it out to five meters and I've got a feeling they may hand over in the middle of the event to a couple of their younger swimmers. Uh, putting a little bit of responsibility on them. Swimming with the older girls. Here they go. Lane five, Wanuna. Lane six will change. Smith's Hill. We've got all the usual suspects lining up here from the Illawarra schools. But let's not get too complacent. We've got Mul we've got Mulwari over here in lane four. They are certainly within touch as we come up to the halfway point in this all age relay for the girls. Nice leg, Smiths Hill. Manuna. Still got it. Experienced swimmer in the water. Great, efficient stroke to maintain what is a five-metre lead. Wanuna over Smith's Hill. And they are going to hand over to their final two swimmers and ask them if they can just maintain that lead or increase it. Wanuna, change, lane five. They are in the water with the others still to touch in. And lane five, Wanuna are up and swimming. There's going to have to be some serious work put in here to catch them, um, which I'm sure the girls from Mulwari and Smiths Hill are up for. But uh, she's extended the lead. A, a, a mighty leg from fifth swimmer, Wanuna. And it's all business here for Wanuna. Final swimmer. little bit of turbulence in lane five at the moment as their final swimmer 
uh, shows fierce determination to complete the job for her school. Her other swimmers have laid down the foundation and she is extending the lead. Hats off to uh, Wanuna. They have uh, they put their impression on the race very early on and they've got a fine bunch of supporters on the eastern side of the pool that really enjoyed that, that team swim. Lane 6 is in. Smith's Hill. Uh, and then Wurrilla. Uh, the all age for the boys has the appearance of two hits. No, it is one heat. It has been amalgamated. All right, we do have an amalgamated uh, event here for the the boys all age relay, which uh, adds to the interest. We're at the 100 metre mark, four legs to swim, and the lineup of schools is as follows: Lane one, Illawarra Sports; Lane two, Kiama; Lane three, Wanuna; Lane four, Malwari; Lane five, Albion Park. Swimming in the middle of the pool. Smith's Hill is swimming in lane six. Fig Tree, lane seven. Warilla, lane eight. And Goulburn, lane nine. All right, good afternoon, everybody. I'm very fortunate to have with me someone who's been swimming really well today, and her name is Tilly Fickers. We're going to find out a little bit about Tilly. Uh, she's got a brief break in her program now, but I know you've got to get back and get ready for some more swimming. Good afternoon. How are you feeling after all of your swimming so far today? Um, a bit exhausted. It's pretty sunny here, but no, I'm feeling good, yeah. Tell us about where you're from. Uh, it's sunny here. Where, where, where do you come from? Um, well... I go to Smith Hill, which is Wollongong, um, and I train at the uni pool, um, yeah. How is training at the uni pool? you find yourself surrounded by some bigger kids and bigger athletes? Uh, yeah, I moved there 
almost two years ago now and yeah I've really improved um, I'm swimming with a lot of older kids which has helped me improve and I think yeah that's pushed me so yeah all right let's get to the big topic of the moment you've broken a couple of records today um, can you tell us a little about about those events you've broken the records in and uh, how you feel about that um, honestly I was pretty surprised I wasn't necessarily intending to but um we have nationals um, in April next month, so I'm just getting ready, and um, I think it's good to have a hit out, especially here, so I can just get used to like some racing. Um, and I guess these records are a good sign of how I'm travelling for nationals. Yeah, absolutely. Well, an interesting point you make is that you have nationals in April, and then you come back to a, like a, a state CHS competition. How does it all fit in for you? How do you make it all work? How busy are you? Um, well... I guess nationals is a pretty big time. That's probably one of my biggest competitions. And usually I would have a small break, but I obviously had to continue like swimming for CHS. And then after that, I'd have Olympic trials. But yeah, I'm just trying to keep swimming and keep on top of things. Yeah. Did I hear that correctly? You have Olympic trials? Yeah, I have Olympic trials coming up in June or July. I'm not quite sure. but Which event will you, do you hope to, or are you trying to qualify for? Um, I've, so for the Olympic trials, I'm going for 400 freestyle and 200 butterfly. They're my main events. Um, yeah, and I'm just excited to race there and race against, like, Olympians. Yeah, that's going to be a, a, an absolutely wonderful experience. And you've picked so, a couple of really easy events, haven't you? You know, 400 free, did you say? And 200, you know, it must be a breeze, those sort of events. Um, <laughs> so anyway, good luck. Good luck with all of that. Um, look, I know you're really busy. You've got to get off and do some more swimming. Um, any predictions, any more records that you've got your eye on today? Um, 200 freestyle, possibly. I like the 200 freestyle. I mean, it's at the end of the day, but uh, give it a crack, see how it goes. Do you sort of eye off records, or do you just swim as hard as you can and hope there, and, and see what happens? Uh, I find I go into it and I just want to swim well. I find that if I keep my eye on a time, it kind of distracts me a bit. But, yeah, I just go in and try and swim my best, yeah. Cool. Look, I'm going to let you go in a sec, but is there anyone you'd like to say hello to or thank uh, today? Um, just everyone, I guess. Thanks, everyone, and hi. Yeah, thanks for watching. Great. Well, it's great to talk to one of the uh, swimmers that's been having a lot of success. Um, congratulations on what you've done today, and I uh, would like to wish you the very best in your, in your uh, near future and, and the long future. Yeah. Thanks very much to talk, for talking to us. You, Have a great day. Cheers. It was Tilly Fickers uh, talking to us about her swimming program and what's coming up. And isn't that interesting? Uh, swimmers from here uh, attempting to qualify for an Olympic Games. Uh, if it happened this year, wouldn't it be great? But maybe down the track. Let's get back to the swimming. Event 55 in the water at the moment. After our conversation with Tilly Fickers, um, it was great to be able to chat to her. And I know a lot of the swimmers have a, uh, a heavy program of events. So for them to be able to, and her to be able to squeeze that interview in, was very, very much appreciated. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the broadcast from wherever you are watching. We hope that um, some of your teachers are allowing you to watch a bit of swimming today. Don't forget, uh, there is also a broadcast that will come from some of the state championships a little later in the year. A uh, chance for you to continue to watch uh, swimming at the representative level. A lot of your experience may be at your swimming carnival or um, 
you know, just getting involved in, in some events there. And, and this is where it sort of leads up to the, representing your zone at region, representing your region at state, and then who knows from there. The event in the water at the moment is the 12 Years Girls 50 Metres Freestyle. Uh, blue ribbon stuff here, 50 metres freestyle. Heat one. Emma Hennessy, Eleanor Parnell, Izzy Bruton, Violet Erican, Madeline Knipe, Amelia Nixon, Daisy Carter. All swimming now in heat one of event 56. Officials, uh, timekeepers, etc. move to the northern end of the pool. All of the finishing duties and procedures uh, have to occur there. Our next event is event 56, Heat 2, Layla McIntosh, Malwari, Gabriella Ferrero, Jinda, uh, sorry, Jerobombra, Ria, Ranabura, Smiths Hill, Lane 3, Mackenzie O'Malley, Kira, Lane 4, Madison Sedgwick, Winuna, Lane 5, Olivia Rogers, Lane 6 from Warilla, also from Warilla beside her, Raya Haywood, Lane 7, Tess Mulhern, Winuna, Lane 8, Evangeline Rogers, Lane 9. They are all there. This will be an exciting event. Swimming right across the pool. That was event 56. Event 57 now, boys. 12 years, 50 metres freestyle. Competitors are William Zhang, Goldburn, Lane 4, MacArthur Davis. Bomaderi stands up ready to go on lane five. Dusan Hugo, Carabar, lane six. Alpha, Jalo, Kaki, lane seven. They are away. The 12 years boys, 53, heat one. William Zhang doing nicely from Goulburn, lane four. But he can probably feel that he's got MacArthur Davis and Dusan Hugo pretty well interested just on his left shoulder. And Alpha Jolo Kaki doing a great job here in lane seven. They will come down and touch and complete Heat one. The record here was set in 1993. Kane Love from Dapto High School. The record for the 12 years boys, get this, is 29.56. So the boys are chasing that. Heat two. Kobe Foots, lane one. Aladala, Brax, Angelucci, Dapto, lane two. Lucas Liu, Smiths Hill, lane three. Heath Press. Illawarra Sports, lane four. Middle of the pool, lane five. Luke Baldwin, Mulwari, Sam Chio. Chioi. I hope I got that right, Sam, and followers. From Fig Tree, lane six. Gordon Zhang, Smith Hill, lane seven. Joey Morgan, lane eight. Aladala and Mason Stewart, lane nine. Illawarra Sports. Heat two.
And they round out heat two, the 12 years boys. 13 years girls to go next, heat one. Lacey Dunn, Eden, lane three. She stands ready to go with her fellow competitors. From Jindabyne in lane four, Cadence Phillips, Cecily Thun, Carabar is lane five. I think she is not there to take her place in lane five. No, Cecily. Sienna Myers, Oak Flats, lane six. Ariana Wojcik, lane seven, Warilla. And Adele Ryak, Bega, lane eight. 13 years girls, heat one. Heat two. Jesse Cross, Kaima, lane one. Ava Dragovic, lane two. Willowa Sports, Sophia Neo, Caraba, lane three. Ava Hartnett, Mawari, lane four. Zoe Marsh, lane five. Wanuna Ivy Lynch, Bulli, lane six. Beside her from Bulli as well, Kalani Chambers. Isabella Harrison is in lane eight from Bomaderi. And coming down in lane nine is Amelia Siri. They're all there. It's a great spectacle as they come through 25 metres. And it is lane three, Sophia Neo, who has them at the moment. Anything's possible in the 50 free. It's very hard to have time to put your head up and look around. It's a case of putting the head down and just swimming. And good luck, judges, with that. Sophia Neo stayed in the mix. And I think Ivy Lynch might have had a say in it as well in lane six. Um, anyone's guess. Can't pick it from halfway down the pool with the naked eye. Event 59, heat one. Jesse Lawrence will go in lane three. Naruma, Harry Muir, Smiths Hill. Lane four, Hudson Alch and... Kayama lane five. Ethan Doughty is going in six. Yes. Edom Dowling lane seven. Wollongong, Darrow, Nisi lane eight. Mossvale. They are all there and they are away. Record holder is David Smith for the 13-year-old boys. Set in 2000. Roll back the years. David swam it in a time of 28 to five. Very competitive, strong first heat. It's going to put a little bit of heat pressure, if you like, on heat two. 13-year-old boys, Will Loxley is going to go in lane one. He is ready. Cruz, air, lane two. Caleb Tapper, lane three. And Cruz is from Illawarra Sports. Caleb Tapper, Goulburn, Josh Gillette, Oak Flats. Gets onto the blocks in lane four. Maruya, Xavier Miles, there he is. Benjamin Agnew, Fig Tree, Archer Green, Monero, Lane 7, Mason Ring, Kayama is in Lane 8, and Max Cohen is swimming in Lane 9. Once again, complete lineup across the pool. And uh, one of our interviewees is Xavier Miles. He's uh, putting the hammer down and getting them to chase him in the middle of the pool. To open up a body length over 25 metres is, is some swimming, and he's doing it. Xavier Miles, Maruya. Bang, and he goes. Probably takes that one. Wait for the official results there. Next heat. We are in event 60. Third on your old girls. Heat one. Ruby McBain, Eden, is in lane three. Beside her, Lucy McAlpine, Jerobombra, 
She is in lane four. In lane five, Sophia Clow. Sophia's from Ulladulla. There is no swimmer in lane six at the moment. But in lane seven there is, from Batemans Bay, Imogen Seidel. And Mila Kelly is from Bega. She swims in lane eight. 50 metres freestyle ahead of them. They are racing. Heat one, 14 years girls. It's event 60 in a 99 event program. Ruby McBain stamps her authority on the field straight away. First 25 metres and now it is her job to hang on. Some of these girls are going to be stronger in their second 25. But Ruby McBain hangs on even with the others coming at her. And she does it in lane three. Ruby McBain all the way from Eden. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Kids and teachers and staff down at Eden Wherever you're watching from, the conditions are nice in Dapto today. It's heading up into the temperatures of the mid-20s. It's warm with just a touch of cloud cover in front of the sun now to take a bit of sting out of it. But it's sunny. Heat 2, 14 years girls. Ruby McIntosh is going in lane 1. Bailey Fisher is in lane 2. Suvi Flore Quirk, lane three. Bonnie Rigglesworth, lane four. Michaela Walsh, lane six. Peyton Willis, lane seven. Sky Williams, lane eight. Mia Gibbs, lane nine from Yass. A blanket making its way down the pool. Fourteen years, boys. Now heat one. Jake Deary is ready to go. He's standing beside Lake Lane Three, just gathering his thoughts. He's from Yass. Rami Helms, Lane Four, Aladulla. <laughs> Levi Schuster, Warilla, is ready in Lane Six. Lane Seven, we've got Joshua Bright and Oren Bradley is in Lane Eight. They're all there. They're on their marks. It's a very clean start from all of the boys. And for the most part, they all want to come up swimming quickly. Only Joshua Bright sort of held his form under the water and stayed there a little longer. But he's up now, and he's just got the lead. Joshua Bright, lane seven, as they pass 25 metres. And now as they move beyond me, it's a little difficult because it's so close, but Joshua Bright appears to be holding them. He stayed down a little longer and then came up and unleashed. Josh Bright, Illawarra Sports, lane seven. Heat two, Ashton Jamison, Monero, lane one, Blake Plummer, lane two, Dapta, Malachi Nave, Bega, lane three, Sam Prosser, Kira, Lane four, Zane Ward, Kayama, lane five, Lucas O'Malley, Barrel, lane six, Maxim Giorgio, Smiths Hill, lane seven, Alexander Smythe, lane eight, Thomas Tudor Jones, Aladulla, lane nine. Every lane occupied. The swimmers are getting older, going up through the age group, so therefore there's a, there's a little more disturbance in the water with the amount of energy that's going into this it looks to be in the middle of the pool lane five Zane Ward leaving the, all of this to officials because 50 meter events are so close 15 year old girls heat one Chelsea Rayner going in lane three. She's from Goulburn. Jasmine Stove is from Queanbeyan. and she will go beside her in lane four. Zali Ritchie, Aladulla, lane five. Emerson Hall, Kayama, lane six. And Amelia Blinko 
from Braidwood Central. She's going to go in lane seven. Hope the kids from Braidwood are having a nice time if you're watching and staff. Girls ready. Starter happy and they're given the signal. There's no time to look around here. There are four of them in a line, but um, it is Amelia Blinko in lane seven who led them through 25 metres. And Amelia is a Braidwood girl. But she has from Kayama Emerson Hall with her. I think Amelia may have done the job, but that's uh, once again in the hands of the judges and the timekeepers. Nonetheless, kids from Braidwood and all of her supporters be pretty happy with that swim. Heat two, Lucy Quinlan, Jindabyne, lane one, Sienna Wu, lane two, Madison Wood, lane three, Wollongong, Sienna Wu's from Bega, Lillian Vicek, Warilla, Peyton, Tepuk, Wanuna, lane five. Nyla Lynch, Bulleye Lane 6, Eloise Heinz Salter, Jindaba, sorry, Jerob Bombra Lane 7, from Morilla, Lily O'Neill as they come past and the middle of the pool has the lead. Lily O'Neill Lane 8, and Oasis, Huenda, Kayama Lane 9. It was with the middle of the pool, I think Lane 4 might be going all right here. That's Kobe Sims. No, that's Lillian Vacek with her friends. Lillian Vacek, Peyton Tepuk, Nyla Lynch, Eloise Hines, Madison Wood and others. Lane one here, no swimmer. Lane two, no swimmer. And the 15-year-old boys, heat one. James Kavanagh, yes. Lane three, Ethan Hargood. Lane four, Mulwari. Harvey Ring, Kayama, Lane 5, Nate Stokes, Lane 6, Monero, Miller Hughes, Lane 7, Jindabyne, Sam Jones, Goulburn, Lane 8. Swimming in heat one of the 15-year-old boys, 50 metres freestyle as the pace goes up. Lane five, Harvey Ring powers to the front, establishes three quarters of a body length. That's a massive first 25 from Harvey Ring from Kayama to put that sort of distance into this field. And he's done it. Harvey Ring from Kayama posts the time in heat one. Heat two, no swimmer, lane one. Lucas Morgan, lane two, Wanuna, Maximus Smythe, lane three, Kira, Kobe Sims, Warilla, lane four. Beside him, one of his fellow students, one of his mates from Warilla, Maddox Burke. Baxter Devine, also Warilla. They make a nice trio there. Probably swum against each other a bit, these boys. Baxter Devine, lane six, Riley O'Connor, Kayama, lane seven, Riley Burns, lane eight, Bigger, Hunter Hutton. Lane nine, he's from Bulleye. And it is one of the Warilla boys, Kobe Sims, powering to the front. He only has half a body length, though. But they're not going to be able to get over the top of him. Kobe Sims, one of the Warilla trio. Girls, 16 years, heat one now. Ivy Cannon will swim in lane three. Eden Sakura in lane four. Ivy's from Batemans Bay. Eden Sakura, Aladala. Jayla Puljak, lane five. Warilla. Ruby Payne is in lane six. Kayama. Sky Bell. 
is not here. But in lane eight, Lucy McClelland, yes. Away. Okay, competitors, all 17 and 19, you are 50 metres freestyle. Permission now, you are Marshall. Pretty even contest down the middle of the pool. But it is Jayla Pulchak Warula at the moment who's holding them only by the shoulder. She has Sky Bell coming at her in lane seven. Sorry, Ruby Payne was coming at her in from Kiama. Close finish, heat two. Gidget Dimmer here is going to swim in lane one. She's from Batemans Bay, from Shoalhaven. Bianca Grieve, lane two. Lara Elliott, Wanuna, lane three. Yes, lane four. Lara McClelland, Tilly Fickers, Smiths Hill, lane five. Liana Deary, yes, lane six. It's a complete lineup here. It should be great. Indiana Aikman will swim in lane seven. Albion Park, Marguerite Bresler, lane eight, Bulleye, and Tasman Messenger is in lane nine. Complete lineup of swimmers that have been successful, all of them successful across the morning sessions. You're going to find yourself in the thick of competition if you're in this heat. But powering to the front is Tilly Fickers. He was talking to us recently about some of her goals and... Uh, She's holding them here. Tilly Fickers goes in in lane five and leads them all into the wall. Sixteen-year-old girls there. Next event, 65. Sixteen-year-old boys. Two heats. Rome Foots. Rome Foots will swim in lane three. He's from Ulladulla. Lachlan McNeilidge from Mossvale, lane four. Beside him, Xavier Anderson, lane five. He's from Canahooker. Mac Elliott is in lane six. Marilla. James Orlery, Naruma, lane seven. And Logan Waters is swimming in lane eight. Heat one. Now chasing them. No swimmer in lane four. Heat two. Lane one is Brody Irving. Bega. Reed Palmer going in lane two. Kiama. No swimmer lane three or lane four. Some gaps in the field here, but still a need to swim two heats. Cooper Walsh lane five. Harry Sergeant Wilson, lane six. Christian Ireland, lane seven. Bodie Dunn, lane eight. Riley Smith is in lane nine from Mulwarren. Got the guys in the outside lanes. Christian Ireland, Bodie Dunn. Doing the business here, leading it early on. Now we've got Cooper Walsh starting to uh, make his presence felt in the middle, pretty close. And um, I would have to say Reed Palmer and Brody Irvin also expressing an interest on the eastern side of the pool. Girls, seniors, heat one, 50 metres free. Bridie Linton is swimming in lane three. From Jindabyne, Sophie Caldwell, lane four, 
Monero. Talia Walters is swimming in lane five from Dapto. And they are the three swimmers in heat one of the senior girls 50 metres freestyle. Senior girls, Elsie Foster, lane one. Grace Healy, lane three, Illawarra Sports. Elsie's from Aladulla. Felicity Shannon, lane four. Yes, Imogen Fickers, Smiths Hill, lane five. She's not there. Madison Jones is. Winuna lane six. Abby Morgan, lane seven. Fig Tree. Adina Hines, lane eight. Yes. And Stella Davey, lane nine. Malwari. Senior boys, 50 metres freestyle. Another one where you get to uh, throw your washing in. Could have done that with the girls. They'd have done a fine job. Uh, Malachi. Vea will go in lane three, yes. Axel Reeves, lane four. Vincentia. Standing beside him behind lane five, Emilio Manuelian, Vincentia. A couple of schoolmates there. Joe Quinlan is lane six. He's from Jindabyne. There's no swimmer in lane seven. But Caleb Smith will swim in lane eight. And Caleb is from Carabao. Well, forgive me, but I'm um, enjoying some lunch provided by DAPTO High School students. Just going to get a little bit more information on that. And we're on the Senior Boys 53. Senior Boys. Matt Higgum, Noah Price, Storm Balmain, Caleb Miles, Christian Bresler, Riley Gibbs, Levi Willis, Declan Carriage, Sam Roll. Sorry about the brief introduction. And they're so quick they were down the pool almost before I'd finished it. But that was the Senior Boys 53.
We've got a multi-class event up next, and these are always fantastic. Um, the the um, kids make a, a fantastic effort in these events, and people love to um, watch the multi-class and enjoy it and encourage them. We've got event 68, 50 metres freestyle multi-class. Frederick McKenna, Bulleye, lane one. Tanea Farmilo, Aladala, lane two. Kelly Ryan is in lane four. Isaac Logan, Vincentia, lane five. Dakota Doust, Dapto, lane six. Bryant Waterhouse. Bomaderi, lane seven. Hugo Hoffman, lane eight. Barrel. And Jake Price is in lane nine from Shoalhaven. Just got Frederick McKenna there. Lane two, knocking out 53. Much appreciated by the crowd. Great work. All our multi-class swimmers. We're going to move into some more excitement here. 13-year-old girls, 4 by 50 metre relays. The officials are going to have to make their way to the southern end of the pool.
the event in the pool at the moment is the 13-year-old girls 4x50 metre relay. It is event 69 in the 99 event program. If you are watching from your schools this afternoon, we hope uh, you're enjoying the broadcast. Welcome to Tapto Pool in Illawarra. Where the air temperature is mid-twenties. And the water temperature is about the same. So it is absolutely ideal for swimming at the moment. And the cloud is helping. It's, um, it's not um, dull by any means, but there's a little cloud cover that has come across just to take some of the brightness out of the sun. So we have a, a beautiful afternoon here in Dapto. And if you're watching the broadcast from wherever you are, welcome to the championships. We have event 69 in the water. It's the 13 years girls 200 metres freestyle relay. Heat 1. Bombard area swimming in lane 3. Wollongong are in lane 4. Yass are in lane 5. In lane 6, Bega. Lane 7, Eden. Lane 8, Monero. And we have in heat one, it looks like lane four, Wollongong doing very nicely. Uh, Bega up alongside them in lane six as they bring it down to the wall. The 13-year-old girls, it's heat one. There will be two heats in this event. Wollongong at the moment seem to hold the running, uh, finishing what appeared to be in first place to post the quickest time. These are all timed trials, if you like, in an attempt to qualify for the New South Wales CHS Championships at Homebush and Olympic Park. 13th to the 15th of May. Heat 2. Heat 2. Aladulla on the blocks in lane 1. Illawarra Sports, lane 2. Albion Park, lane 3. Lane 4, Bulli. Lane 5, Mulwarri. Lane 6, Wanuna. Lane 7, Kayama. Lane 8, Warula. And there is no school swimming in Lane 9. I'm just going to pass on my congratulations, and I'm sure I do this on behalf of all the officials here today, to the students and the staff at Dapdale High School who are responsible for providing the lunches and I'll talk just after this general announcement we've got um, we, we've got lane 4 Bulli leading it out Wanuna lane 6 changing in second I was just chatting about the uh, great work that the the students and staff do at Dapto High School um, in regards to providing the lunches and some of the uh, sustenance throughout the championships, uh, morning teas um, and the lunches. Absolutely outstanding. Um, I'm a fan of, and I know a lot of the staff are massive fans of the beautiful halloumi and the focaccias that they provide, but they've ramped it up even more now and, and are adding a nice quiche to the mix um, really lovely food I believe it's part of the hospitality training there so um, for all the hard work that's going in uh, for those groups back at Dapto thank you, uh, it really is appreciated and, and keep, up, keep up the great work 
business end of the 13 years girls 4x50 metres relay. And it is lane four. Bang, in they come. Bulleye uh, post that as a, a potential qualifying mark for the state championships for the combined high schools. Bulleye, lane four. In good company with Albion Park, Mawari, Wanuna, Kayama. All there. Heat one coming up. Boys, 13 year olds. Four by 50 metres freestyle. Just quietly, I think they work some nice um, garlic into that uh, halloumi focaccia. Um, I've uh, I've never been so tempted to consume uh, that style of meal as I have since the Dapto crowd started to uh, assemble the, that beautiful cuisine. They've done it for a long time now, and they have an excellent reputation over the years uh, of providing just uh, r- really beautiful food. Whoever's responsible for that program, full credit to them and to the kids who put it together. Heat one. 13 year old boys. Braidwood Central. Their first swimmer is ready beside lane three. Lane five, Mulwari. Lane six, Albion Park. Heat one. First swimmer making their way down the pool. It is the swimmer from Braidwood Central, lane three, who's going to lead his team into the first change. Their second swimmer is waiting, and the handover occurs. He waits for the touch on the wall, and off he goes. He's got a nice, long, strong action. Second swimmer. Braidwood Central. If you're watching from Braidwood, welcome to the broadcast. Your team is uh, heading out this heat one of the 13-year-old boys freestyle. A little bit of interest now from Mulwari, lane five, who's going to pull up alongside Braidwood. Now Albion Park, lane six. All the boys swimming really well. Courageous efforts here. The handover happens with lane five. And of course the reason for my short break in commentary there five to ten minutes ago was that I had a lot of difficulty taking myself away from the halloumi uh, focaccia spread. Uh, I did have to give that my full concentration. It's uh, not the sort of thing that uh, where, you, where you want to be interrupted. But uh, anyway, here we are back at the back at the the swimming, and uh, we're very fortunate that we have in front of us the 13-year-old boys heat one four by fifty relay. Mal Warrior handing over in front. Braidwood are still there, doing nicely. Therefore, swimmers waiting. And Albion Park uh, into their final 50 metres. Uh, it's going to take some effort to chase this down because the Malwari boys have a lead of 10 metres with 25 metres to swim. No shortage of interest, though, from the Albion Park boys and the Albion Park swimmer in particular. Uh, Malwari. Bang. Down to the wall. No worry. Albion Park in now. And beautiful, efficient action here from the young man 
from Braidwood, who is given the task of uh, swimming the fourth leg. And he's doing it in fine style. And he brings it in. Completes the relay for his team. Heat two. Yes, will swim in lane one, although I can't see them there. I can see the team in lane two. And that is Bulleye in their distinctive maroon caps. Yes does have a team. They're up to the blocks now. Illawarra Sports in lane three. Warilla lane four. Kayama lane five. Smiths Hill, yellow cap, lane six. Bega, blue cap, lane seven. No swimmer in lane eight, no team. And Ulladulla, blue caps, lane nine. First 50 metres, first swimmer. All right, a handover now in the middle stages of this with 100 metres and less to swim. And it is lane seven. Bega have uh, drawn this out to the lead and now they are coming at them. Smith's Hill is coming at Bega and Kayama and they've got work to do now. Kayama will hand over in front. You'll notice it's an in-the-water start. The pool is shallow at the northern end. Therefore, there is no dive in. But just to make it interesting, uh, Warilla have said, well, you know, we're not out of this. And in lane uh, four, they're there. But here it is. Kayama and Smith's Hill are going to fight this out. The orange cap down the middle of the pool. He has company. Warilla. They are there, but it is Kayama. It will be Kayama, unofficial, in the 13 years, boys, 100 metres. All right, uh, we're very fortunate now to have a couple more swimmers um, from the young ladies' ranks, and uh, I'm going to get them to introduce themselves in a moment, tell us a little bit about themselves. So um, tell us who you are and what you've been doing. Imogen, yep, go ahead. Um, I'm Imogen Walsh. Yes. And Which school are you from, and what, what, what events have you swum so far today? From Warilla, and I've done... Relays and the 100 freestyle and 50 freestyle. How have they gone? Um, I made it to state for all of them. That's great. Been to state before? Yeah. So you know the drill there. 
Yep, it's a great environment, isn't it? You are? Raya Haywood. <laughs> and what school are you from? And what, what? tell us a little bit about your swims today. I'm from Marilla High and um, I've done 50 freestyle. I came fourth in that and then I'm doing a 12s relay. Hopefully we make it to state. Yeah, absolutely. Good attitude. Now, the word on the street is that you uh, young ladies have also been involved in uh, something called nippers. Is that correct? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about, for, for kids that are watching in schools and for anyone, tell us a little, about, a little bit about what nippers actually is and, um, and how you've gone. What is nippers? Um, you, can, you do board races and swim in the surf and you also learn how to save people. Okay, so it's a part of the Surf Life Saving Association and the work that they do. Um, you've both had some success, yeah, yeah. recently. Mm-hmm. This weekend, tell us how you went. Um, I came fourth in the sprint, third in the 12 girls relay and uh, second in the 500 relay. Tell us about the sprint. What does the sprint involve? Um, it's just, I uh, think it's a 70 metre sprint. And Are we talking about running in sand or swimming in water? Running on sand. That's got to be pretty hard work. Do you train for that? Um, well, not really, but I kind of train for running, so it helps. So there's a little bit of crossover there. And I guess to be a, I guess you are surf life savers as well. Is that, that correct? You learn that skill as well. Yeah. yeah? All right. Well, anyway, great to hear about all of this. I'm sure you've given Nippers and Surf uh, Life Saving Clubs a little bit of a plug here this afternoon, and they operate on a volunteer basis, don't they? So all anyone that wants to go down and do that kind of thing, I'm sure they'd be very much accepted. Thanks for talking to us this afternoon. I think you might be going through to state for a few things, so we want to wish you all the very best for that, and um, enjoy the rest of the championships today. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, girls. Great, great to hear a little bit about uh, 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 a bit of a side uh, and a side to the sport, if you like, with that surf life saving component. And uh, I guess if you're interested, um, as a kid or as an adult, maybe as a parent, contacting surf life saving, sure they'd be able to put you in touch with the relevant people. Back to the swimming.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate uh, to have with us this afternoon. We've got a range of staff that are helping to officiate and assist with the running of the carnival. And I have one of them with me uh, right now. It is Maddie Alderdice. Uh, she's from Barrack Heights. She's in a very interesting situation because she's a primary school teacher and she finds herself at the secondary uh, carnival. Um, welcome to the championships. And uh, it's great that, that you've been able to come along to this one. How are you finding it today? Oh, I think it's, it's always good to come along and uh, be involved with the multi-class athletes, especially at the primary school and high school level. It's, um, there's not really much difference between the two. Everyone kind of gets around each other and, and really supports every, everyone getting involved in the race. Yeah, now um, multi-class, we've had a few events today and the kids have gone really well. Um, you also find yourself going beyond regional level, don't you? How is, uh, how is the organisation and how do the kids go at, uh, at the next level, at state? What are your experiences there? Well, luckily in the past we have had, I know in primary school, I'm not, I haven't done it for high school yet, but we have had kids go international from multi-class. Um, we've had a couple last year, we had some, um, but it just gets bigger and better, I suppose, every year where with state there's more athletes. I know we have more numbers this year than we did last year for both high school and primary school. So it just is something that gets, I don't know, more recognition and more support every single year. Um, I'm going to ask you a question about how you started to get involved in this sort of, um, I guess, representative and competitive level of sport. And in that case, what advice can you give to beginning teachers? Because you were a beginning teacher not that long ago. Um, what advice can you give to them? What do they? What can you? They expect to experience as a result of becoming involved in work beyond their school. Well, I was very fortunate. Barrack Heights have a really supportive principal. Um, she really encouraged me to put my hand up and give everything a go. And when multi class came up, I just put my hand up, not knowing what to expect, or really wanted to throw myself in the deep end there. And everyone in the South Coast is super supportive and wants to help out and wants to teach you and wants to support you and, and give you all the information and resources that you need to help these kids participate at a representative level. But um, as for advice for people thinking about doing it, especially early years careers teachers, um, I would say definitely go for it. It's an amazing opportunity. You do get that break from the classroom every now and then it, and you meet some incredible people who do really have some great roles and are really inspiring and I think that it's definitely an opportunity that I would encourage any any teachers, no matter where you are in your career, to take. Yeah, well, you've certainly made a, a great job of it because I know that your involvement around the multi-class kids but also officiating, um, you bring a great spirit to all of that and um, you meet a lot of people like that within within school sport and you're certainly a, a part of that so congratulations on the work that you are doing um, all right well um, from here you will go uh, you will enjoy going to the state carnivals again won't you have you been to the national level with this kind of thing not national levels um, so next step for me will be going to the primary carnival tomorrow south coast primary school carnival i won't go with the high school kids to um state but i will be going with the primary school kids to the state lovely and that advice you gave to to young teachers i think is uh is really good i mean it's a little bit like life isn't it in the sense that if you wait until you're ready you'll never be ready you may as well take the opportunity and, and learn as you go and there are some great people to make you feel comfortable along the way thank you for all the great work that you've been doing with the multi-class and helping out at, at different events and carnivals. Uh, we congratulate you and uh, hope you continue to, to, to do that, uh, that, play those sort of roles because I know that for a lot of kids coming to these sort of events, it can be quite daunting and one of the important things is to try and put them in a position where they feel some degree of comfort um, and someone they can go to. So a, a bit of a shout out to anyone who's interested in this kind of thing, come along and the kids really do appreciate it. All right. Well, Maddie, uh, once again, great work. Keep it up. And uh, thanks for talking to us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. That's uh, one, of the, um, uh, one of the many, many uh, staff that are involved with officiating and assisting um, at these types of carnivals, the sort of work that often goes unnoticed, but um, a, a, a great range of staff uh, from people that are working in schools to some volunteers and some people that have retired and come back and, and do assist. Uh, anyway, we're going to get back to the swimming and uh, let's have a look at the program from here on. We should have a nice afternoon.
All right, we're back into uh, a little bit of information coming to you now regarding the events in the water. Great to be able to chat with a couple of uh, personalities around the poolside this morning and this afternoon. I get a little bit of insight as to what it is to uh, be a, a participant as a, a competitor, a swimmer from some of the swimmers that we've talked to. And also, um, you know, in, in that case, chatting to uh, Maddie Alderdice about her experiences uh, in becoming an assistant and an official at, um, at school sporting events. We are at event 75. It is the 13-year-old girls, 100 metres backstroke, heat one. Cadence Phillips, Chinderbine, lane three. Lacey Dunn, lane four, Eden. Ariana Recheck, Warilla, Lane 5, Annabelle Feld, Malwari, Lane 6, Ella Collins, Yass, Lane 7, Ailey, might be Allison, I've got an abbreviation on the sort of name that um, her name, I can't see all of her name on the score sheet, but uh, I think it might be an Allison, I'm sure someone will tell me. Well, I'm sure the kids at school uh, will be shouting it out. Williams uh, Savage. She's swimming in lane eight. She is from Vigo. 100 metres of backstroke. If you like that kind of thing, it's quite a gruelling physical task. And let's keep in mind that a lot of these swimmers have had multiple events throughout the day. And at some point... I guess that's got to start to test your resilience. Uh, they've done a great job, all of our swimmers today. Good luck to them in the afternoon section of the program. We're coming down to the final 25 metres of the 13 years girls, 100 metres, backstroke, heat one. It's Annabelle Feld. She's from... Malwari. She's under the ropes to touch. Lane six. Heat two. Kalani Chambers ready to swim in lane two. Kalani is representing Bulleye. Samantha Makedo, Smith's Hill, lane three. Sophia Neo, lane four. Kira. Ava Dragovich, Illawarra Sports, lane five. Zoe Marsh, Wanuna, lane six. Charlotte Davies, Ulladulla. Lane 7. Matilda Aikman, Albion Park, Lane 8. And on the eastern side of the pool, my apologies, on the western side of the pool, in the westernmost lane, from Bomaderry, Isabella Harrison. Girls turn, and they have uh, approximately 40 metres to swim. It is with Sophia Neo, 
and Ava Dragovic and Zoe Marsh. Lanes four, five and six respectively. Ava Dragovic. Lane five. She's representing the Illawarra Sports. She comes down to touch just, I think, ahead of Sophia Neo. Next event. Event 76. 13 years boys, 100 metres backstroke. The record for this event is held by Peter Hamilton. It was set in 2013. 10 years has crept up pretty quickly, hasn't it? But Peter held the record in 2013. He still holds it now at 1 minute 13.06. Heat 1, James Nichols, Aladala, will swim in lane 3. Hudson Alton, Kayama, lane 4. Caleb Tapper, Goulburn, lane 5. Ziad El Assar, lane 6. Karabar. Yes, swimmer is Ethan Doherty. He's in lane seven. And I think it's James or Jason. Given Pickering, Pickering from Balmaderry, lane eight. Caleb Tapper, Goulburn, right down the middle. Lane five touches in. Oh, Ziad El Assar, lane six. James Nichols in. And all of our swimmers now complete heat one. Heat two, 100 metres backstroke, 13 years boys, Darcy Benson, Wanuna, Harry Muir, uh, Darcy will swim lane one. Harry Muir, Smiths Hill, lane two. Levi Gowing, lane three. Bigger, Benjamin Agnew, lane four, fig tree. From Maruya, Xavier Miles, lane five. Josh Gillette, Oak Flats, lane six. Max Cohen, Warilla, lane seven. Isaac Fisher, lane eight, Illawarra Sports. Jordan she uh, Shepherd, lane nine, Bigger. Afternoon session now at DAPTO and you can appreciate that the swimmers have, a number of them, many of them have uh, several of their events under their belt already today. So it's a credit to them, you know, to be able to produce this sort of effort as the day rolls on. We've got Xavier Miles producing the effort now. Lane five, he's doing it easily. It's an efficient backstroking action. 
is cruising into the wall. He will touch in first place unofficially. And he will be followed in by Joshua Gillette. Benjamin Agnew, lane four. And the other fellows now will complete heat two of this event, 76. 13-year-old boys, 100 metres. Next event. Girls, 14 years, 100 metres, backstroke. It looks like we will have two heats for this event. And in the first heat, two swimmers. Lenny McKillop, Eden, in lane four, and Kyra Johnson from Wollongong, in lane five. Girls are away. Two swimmers in this event. Lenny McKillop and Kyra Johnson. Next event will be event 78.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate to have with us now a group of young men from uh, a little bit further down the south coast, if I'm correct, boys, down in Bega. Is that right? Bega. So it's the Bega High School boys, 13 years, yep, relay team. Um, I'll get you to introduce yourselves when I talk to you, give us your name, and then uh, I might ask you a question about uh, your swimming or Bega or this and that. So your name, please. Uh, my name is Jordan Shepherd. All right, Jordan, um, can you tell us a little bit about Bega and the, the township of Bega? Um, what's it famous for? What's the school like? Uh, these kind of things. Um, school's, school's pretty good. Um, Bega's famous for Bega Cheese Factory. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, and um, how long did it take you guys to get here from Bega? When did you come up? Um, I started driving up yesterday at 9 o'clock. And it took us uh, four and a half hours. Great. All right, thank you. Uh, your name, please, young man? Levi Gowling. All right, Levi, um, did you all come up together or separately? Uh, we came, all came up separately. All right, and what was your experience? When did you come up? Where are you staying? How are you finding it? Well, we headed about 9.30 and we got here around 2 o'clock and we were staying at Wollongong Le Surf Leisure Resort. So this was a trip yesterday? Lovely, lovely. And how's the leisure resort going? Oh, pretty good, yeah. Have they got anything to do there? They have, like, tennis, basketball, uh, swimming, but since it was Sunday yesterday, they closed at 5.45 p.m. All right. Well, probably good, though, because you guys had to rest up before the, the big event. All right, your name, please, young man. Charlie Johnson. Charlie Johnson. All right, Charlie. Um, now, uh, how did you find the swim today? What leg did you swim uh, and were you expecting to go so well? I swam second and wasn't really expecting to make it to state. You have qualified for the state championships. Have any of you been to the state championships before? So you will contest the state championships at the Olympic venue and you will swim in the Olympic pool. Have you swum in the Olympic pool before? No. All right, so uh, this is going to be a big experience for you guys. What are you going to do? You're all going to travel. You're going to have to chat, have a chat with your parents, aren't you, about how you're going to get there. Um, you been up to the Easter show at all? No. All right, so it's going to be a, 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 a nice time, I reckon. Um, do you play any other sports, anything else but swimming? Are you a swimming specialist? I play soccer. Uh, not the best, but we go all right. What's the name of your team? Well, I'm la all right, and you played for a while. You got to play with a good group of uh, fellas down there. Is that right? Cool. What's your name, please? Luke Sanderson. All right, Luke. Um, tell us about what, what leg you performed in the relay and how you found it. Um, I swam leg three. It was pretty tough. The swimmers were good. And uh, were you tired towards the end of it? Did you feel pretty good? I got really tired. Yeah, it's a, it's a grueling 50 metres, isn't it? You sort of get halfway down, you're still, you, you, you're worn out already and you've still got that rest to go. Lads, um, I reckon it's going to be great that uh, you're going to head off to Sydney um, for your first experience at, at that type of competition. Congratulations. Um, and thank you very much for talking to us. And is there anyone you'd like to say hello to back home? Any of you, anyone you'd like to thank that might have helped you along the way? Mark and Zoe from Vega Pool. All right, tell us a bit about Mark and Joey. Uh, they run the pool. They're finishing up at the end of this season, but they've run the pool for a while now. All right, and they've assisted you, encouraged you boys 
to, to with your swimming and, and done a few things like that. It's good to have that support, isn't it? Thanks very much, boys. Great to talk to you. I know you guys obviously got to get used to the the fame now of qualifying for state. You'll be uh, you'll be heroes back at home, won't you? And um, anyway, I hope you have a lovely time when you've travelled to Sydney and and good luck at the state championships. All the best. Pleasure. Thank you. Got quite a few uh, examples of uh, students and teams that uh, find themselves uh, going to the state championships for the first time, going to the next level. That's what the bigger boys are going to be doing. Congratulations to them. Uh, And uh, obviously any teams that are uh, making that standard of competition for the first time. Thank you very much. Let's watch a little bit more swimming. Okay, uh, back after another interview. They're great to chat to the Beagle boys. Good luck to them. Nice bunch of fellows. Um, we've got event 80. Event 80, now in the water, heat one. It's the 15 year old boys, 100 metres backstroke. 
Benson, Cecilia, Braidwood, Lane 4. Ollie Alchin from Kiama is in Lane 5. Samuel Jones from Goulburn is in Lane 6. Jack Robinson, Shoalhaven, Lane 7. Miller Hughes, Lane 8. Jindabyne. Coming down to the conclusion of Heat 1. Benson Cecilia from Braidwood, lane 4, touches in, takes them in, takes the field in, in Heat 1. Record for this event set in 1996. Heath McDermott. 106.28. This is Heat 2. The boys, 15 year old, 100 metres backstroke. Isaac Logan, lane 1. Tyler Andrews, lane 2. From Vincentia and Winuna, respectively. Kobe Sims, Warrawong. Lane three, Ryland Burns, Bega, lane four, Connor Watt, Albion Park, lane five, Baxter Devine, Warrawong, lane six, Lucas Morgan, lane seven, Winuna, Maximus Smythe, lane eight, Kira and William Turner, lane nine, Mulwarry. Just like to uh, clarify a couple of those schools there. Kobe Sims is a Warilla boy, as is uh, Baxter Devine. Kobe swimming in lane three and Baxter Devine swimming in lane six. However, it's lane four that is doing the better of it at the moment. Ryland Burns, bigger. And I think he'll touch in just ahead of Kobe Sims. And that might have been Connor Watt, but I'll let the officials sort that out. As we move into event number 81, it's the 16-year-old girls, 100 metres backstroke. Hayley Bradley will swim in lane three. She's from Mossvale. Regan Capel, Nara, lane four. Jayla Pulchak, Warilla, lane five. Jackie Marshall, Bomaderry, lane six. Ava McIntyre is swimming in lane seven. She's from Goulburn. Five swimmers in this heat one for the 16 years girls. 100 metres backstroke. They're on their marks now. And they are swimming. Past the competitors from the previous event as they hold on to the lane rope. Trying to make that start process a little more quick and efficient. We're heading down now. Sixteen years girls. Heat one.
complete lineup listed for the 16 years girls heat two. Lane one, Melody Kerno, Wollongong. Lane two, Ivy Cannon, Batemans Bay. Lane three, Matilda Marshall, Smiths Hill. Lane four, Indiana Aikman, Albion Park. Lane five, Liana Deary, Yass. Lane six, Bianca Grieve, Shoalhaven. Lane seven, Tasman Messenger, Bega. Lane eight, Lara Elliott, Wanuna. Lane nine, Kaya Rickson, Nara, Naruma, my apologies. We will go without our swimmers in lane seven and eight. Seven swimmers for the 16-year-old girls, 100 metres backstroke, heat two. Their range of techniques, they complete the first 10 to 15 metres. Some electing to go under the water, some starting straight on top. We make our way back down the pool. We have 25 metres to swim. 16 years girls. 100 metres backstroke. Liana Deary has the lead in lane five from Yass. Slightly from Bianca Grieve. From Shoalhaven. They will move into the wall. And touch Liana Deary. Yes. Sixteen year old boys, one hundred meters backstroke, two heats. This is heat one. Right, uh, so here we are at uh, event 82. It's the boys' 16-year-old, 100 metres backstroke. It's being headed out by Lachlan McNeilage. Lane 5, Mossvale. He has a comfortable lead here of approximately 12 to 15 metres uh, he will come down into the wall and he will touch in and he will complete heat one. 
Heat two of 16-year-old boys, 100 metres backstroke is as follows. Competitors are Riley Smith. Haven't seen him appear yet at lane one. Christian Ireland will swim in lane two. Arwen Newton. Christian Ireland from Ulladulla. He will swim in lane two. There he is. Arwen Newton. Smith's Hill. Lane three. Joe Livicianos. Jindabyne is in lane four. Mac Elliott. Warilla. Lane five. Harry Sergeant Wilson. Lane six. He's from Wanuna. Bodie Dunn from Eden is in lane seven. Lane eight, Flynn Lawrence, Wollongong. Lane nine, Cooper Walsh, Warilla. So it is Mac Elliott in lane five from Warilla. He's one of two Warilla swimmers in this event. Alongside him is Cooper Walsh, lane nine, but it is Mac Elliott at the moment from Warilla, who is stroking away and making backstroke look really good. Closely pursued by Joe Livicianos from Jindabyne and Harry Sergeant Wilson, Wanuna. Mac Elliott touches in, posts the time that he hopes will qualify him for the New South Wales CHS Championships. It is interesting to keep in mind uh, something that a couple of the bigger guys were saying, that it'll be the first time they, uh, they have attended uh, the Olympic venue, uh, Homebush Olympic Park. Uh, it'll be quite an exciting time for a lot of students and competitors to be going there for the first time it's exciting any time it's such an amazing um, place to be um, and obviously um, a great place in history and um, a venue where uh, many great swims and events took place um, you know, no, no better example than than for what it was originally built for which was the Olympic Games in the year 2000 and the exploits of many, many great swimmers there, including Ian Thorpe, who, um, who set records there. And, of course, won Olympic gold medals. We are senior girls... The senior girls event now, 100 metres backstroke. They're all going together by the looks of this. I would say... I would say we have Felicity Shannon down the middle of the pool. She will complete the 100 metres. Nice swim. Next event, senior boys, 100 metres backstroke.
be two separate heats here. Darcy Miller, Christian Bresler, Declan McKay from Mulwari, from Bullight and Smiths Hill, respectively. Those boys are away on their journey over 100 metres of backstroke. We have um, Christian Bresler in the traditional and distinctive colours of Bulleye. The maroon and gold. And he's doing it quite nicely in lane five. Backstroke, interesting event. A range of starting techniques um, available and utilised by the swimmers. Uh, some swimmers like to stay under the water a little um, and the rule is that they have to, the head has to come up before the 15 metre mark after the start. So you'll see, um, you may be interested in watching some of the different starting techniques of swimmers. Some of them like to come up quickly and start, start paddling backstroke fairly smartly. And others like to stay under the water for a little while longer. Make that efficient body line and streamline. And, and that's how they like to start their backstroke heat two Jack Cox lane two Kenna Hooker Noah Johnson going in lane four Noah's from Warilla Riley Gibbs lane five yes Declan Carriage Kenna Hooker Lane six, Caleb Miles, lane seven from Maria. Wyland Hall, Kayama, lane eight, and in lane nine, Caleb Smith, Caraba. In fact, we're going without lane nine. Riley Gibbs just headed by Declan Carriage at this stage Declan Carriage has the running he has 25 metres to backstroke and he's looking confident and strong he's maintaining that lead it's got to be challenging in the second half of the day second half of some of these events and there's a little bit of pressure on from other athletes you know, swim as hard as they can. I um, think Declan Carriage has got the job done there. He reaches across to Riley Gibbs and they, uh, they recognise and congratulate, uh, congratulate each other on their swims. We have the uh, 600 metre relay here. Each school provides 12 swimmers. One school will be successful in going through to the state carnival. 
assemble your 12 best swimmers. Uh, six boys, six girls across the age groups. Schools we have represented here. Monero, lane three. Kayama, lane four. Smiths Hill, lane five. Although they are not here. No Smiths Hill. Warilla is swimming and they are represented in lane six. Malwari is swimming in lane seven. We have four schools contesting this interesting event. One, it's not one of those events where you can arrange your order of swimmers as you choose and therefore it doesn't really become evident until towards the end of the event how that is going to how that result is going to transpire because once again we can have that situation where we have older swimmers swimming against younger swimmers and mixed ages so uh, it uh, that's that adds the great uh, the additional interest I think to this relay But at the moment, it is Warilla, slightly ahead of Kayama. Warilla and Kayama, both traditionally strong swimming schools. They have competed very well over the years. At South Coast Championships and at State Championships. It is Warilla. They continue to press and extend the lead in the 12 by 50, 600 metres. Um, as they make their way through their ranks of swimmers with the changing uh, you know, combinations of age. Guys swimming against girls in some of these leagues. And it is Warula that extend their lead. They are proving to be very successful in the first half of this event. They will change. These are uh, big relay teams, 12 swimmers. One of the young ladies in the pool now for Warilla. Same for Kayama. They're chasing them, but they can't make an impression on them yet. It is important to, to hold on and try and remain in some sort of contact because you don't quite know what configuration of swimmers the opposition have put together uh, for the later part of the race. I think one of the theories is, you know, put someone, send one of your strongest swimmers out early and try and establish a lead and then let the others endeavour to maintain that and to hang on. But, uh, yeah, one... one one style of racing it may maybe no better than another it's all it all comes down to to personal and school choice Warilla, Warilla are holding everybody at the moment and they have they have a 30 meter lead that's got to be difficult to rein in holding at 30 metres. The lead is 30 metres. Got your best, um, most accomplished swimmers in these teams and it's quite evident as you watch them perform their freestyle stroke. They, they make their way through the water 
not effortless. I wouldn't say it's effortlessly, but it's a, it's a nice technique. It's smooth. It's good to watch. Very, very good technicians. And well-practiced swimmers. And it is Warilla that will come down and touch in. And they have a 50 metre lead, at least. They will, uh, they will come in and complete their journey of 600 metres. And it's not just, uh, it's not just the leaders here that are making life interesting. We've got Kayama that will come down to the wall now but we've got Monero swimming in lane three and they've got just about looks like their whole swim team there at the top of lane three at the northern end cheering their their teammates on um that's more than 12 comp six competitors down there that's a that's a swim team that have got alongside the pool deck and are encouraging all of their swimmers so it's uh it's really great to see <laughs> we've got all the schools now on uh either finished or on their final leg. So we will have Mulwari. Monero. They're coming down to the touch. And the Monero faithful are very happy. Their team has completed the journey. Nice big round of applause for their team from their supporters. All right. Well, that'll be a, a bit of a reduction in clientele at the car around the pool deck, I would say, because that's um, that's nearly 50, <laughs> 50 swimmers involved in that um, in that event. So some of them may be heading off now. Congratulations to all of the swimmers in the uh, the six hundred meter relay. Girls, twelve year olds, now two hundred meters. Freestyle.
Um, second most with Corbett, 92, 93. Girls and boys, 15 years, 200 metres street style. 15 year old children should be over in the marching area now. It's girls and boys for the 200 metres street style. Marching school with those boys and girls in the 15 years, 200 metres, street style. The first marching call for the girls and boys in the 16 years, 200 metres, street style. And then 94 and 95, girls and boys, 16 years, 200 metres, street style. The 12 to 19 years girls relay team. Medley relay, we need you here at the uh, announcing area to get your forms to state. <laughs> Miss Hill, 13 years boy, you need to bring your form back. Climber, 15 years girls, you need to bring your form back. And Yash in the 16 girls, you need to bring your form back so you can get the rest of the information required to state. of the 200 freestyle. This is the first marching call for the girls and boys 17 to 19 years. 200 metres freestyle, marching call for girls and boys events 96 to 97, 
17 and 19 years, girls and boys, 200 metres freestyle. Events 96 and 97, the girls and boys 17 and 19 years, 200 metre freestyle should now be with the marshals as well. So our 200 metre freestyle swimmers should now be over in the marching area. All right, the event just completed is um, event 88, heat two. That's the 13 years girls, 200 metres freestyle. Event 89 now, about to be swum. The boys are on their blocks. Bobby Malesovic. Wollongong, lane four. Patrick Turner, Mulwari, lane five. Kieran Hill, Jera Bombra, lane six. They're underway on their journey of 200 metres. It's heat one. Been very fortunate. We've just been able to get some information from the marshalling area, which is one of the high organisational, detailed organisational points of the championships. <coughs> You may recall earlier in the day we were chatting about the fact that Adam Sergeant Wilson has that very well organised over there. Many, many students making their way through that marshalling process and it has to be done very accurately and, and in a way that sort of helps the students with their organisation. Uh, I just had a chat with Adam, asked him how things had gone throughout the day, so they're going very, very well. Um, did you talk a little bit about his, his history 
of marshalling and the fact that he's very knowledgeable and he has a very knowledgeable team around him. So congratulations to the marshalling team today. They've done an excellent job recording um, that swimmers are here for their event and then organising them uh, for their event as well. And Adam was um, very reluctant to point out, but um, of course it's... Um, it's no great, no great mystery that uh, apart from a, a, a good history in marshalling and officiating at sporting events, um, his, his rich personal history of sport himself, um, and he, he casts his mind back to uh, some of his fond memories of, of his younger days, and of course that included school sport as well. Um, he has uh, strong and lovely memories of uh, playing uh, the school rugby league and also um, district and playing within the, the com at the community level, he said he has had a great time with uh, some of his schoolmates in the in the 14 Bs. Um, I think it well had been the Thoreau Butchers that he was involved in. Um, so just that great opportunity for for him highlighting that chance uh, that a lot of school kids get, school children get through their schools and through their community organisations to. Um, to be part of team sport and to uh, to tap into that uh, that that great environment. Uh, anyway, congratulations again to Adam and his marshalling team. They've done an excellent job today, as have all the official teams. We're at the business end of event 89 in terms of heat one. Bobby Milesevic, Wollongong, Lane 4, Patrick Turner, Lane 5, Malwari and Kieran Hill, Jerobombra, all within touch of each other. But we've got Patrick and Kieran uh, still fighting this one out. And both the boys have support on the pool side. Pushing down to the wall, goodness me, over 200 metres locked together. Could it be a dead heat? Only the officials can help us with that. And Bobby Malesevich from Wollongong. He will complete 200 metres of freestyle, which is just an excellent effort for heat one. Heat two. Zayad El Asar will swim for Karabakh, lane one. Levi Gowing, lane three, bigger. Lane four, Benjamin Agnew, big tree. Lane five, Xavier Miles. Maruya. Josh Gillette, lane six, Oak Flats. Lane seven, Max Cohen, Warilla. Lane eight, Nate Kerr, Coromel. Lane, and no swimmer in lane nine.
Xavier Miles, I think, posting the first place there in 13-year-olds. 200 metres freestyle. Next event, 14 years girls. It's event 90. Two heats for this event. Lily Hansen will swim in lane four and represent Caraba. And Sophia Blake will swim beside her in lane six. And the girls head down the pool for the first time. The record for this event, set by one of the swimmers we spoke to earlier today, Tilly Fickers. The record was set in 2022. And uh, Tilly Fickers swam the 200 metres freestyle then in 2 minutes 12.88. So there's the benchmark. And we've got Lily Hansen and Sophia Blake uh, going at it in the 200 metres freestyle now. 14 years event. Lily from Carabar and Sophia from Moss Vale. Both Southern Tablelands schools in the Southern Tablelands zone. Southern Tablelands zone is an interesting arrangement in the sense that um, it is one of those uh, large zones by area. The northernmost school in that uh, in the southern tablelands is barrel high school uh, and just 10 kilometers south of them uh, approximately uh, across the winter Caribbean river is mossvale high school but then the zone extends down through uh, goulburn mulwari and then almost into obviously not into but to that uh, the fringe of the act because it includes schools like uh, Quinbian and Yass and Carabar. So it's a, it's a long, narrow zone, if you like. Now, you can imagine, um, it sounds lovely that it takes in that amount of, of, of beautifully uh, uh, pre you know, presented and lo lovely sort of geographical uh, area. But um, then keep in mind the logistics of order organising things like zone carnivals and things like that and for a lot of their carnivals they tend to um, they tend to utilize uh, and they're very fortunate in this sense they tend to utilize uh, facilities within the ACT as South Coast schools do at times for things like athletics um, so the Southern Tableland schools tend to access the uh, Australian Institute of Sport facilities there for track and field and their swimming championships for many, many years have been held at Queen Bean Pool simply because it is one of the few, if not the only pool in the zone that has enough lanes to accommodate all of the schools that exist within the zone. Uh, so I'm sure all zones and regions have their challenges in terms of the logistics of organising events. Um, and Southern Tablelands is certainly one of those. Uh, it's been done very, very well, obviously over many, many years, uh, by a whole host of very dedicated individuals. Two girls here from Southern Tablelands schools. Lily Hansen, Carabar, Sophia Blake, Mossvale. It is Sophia Blake, Mosfar, that completes her journey of 200 metres and she will touch in first. And Lily Hansen now approaches the wall and she touches in and I'm sure she's very happy and relieved. And she receives a, a nice hearty round of applause for that, as she should. Heat 2. Uh, event 90, Kyra Johnson, Wollongong, lane 2, Ruby McBain in lane 3, Eden, Alani Sims, 
is in lane four. Warula, Michaela Want, Coromel. Lane five. Sky Williams is in lane six. Fig Tree in lane seven. Imogen Walsh, Warilla. Lane eight, Ruby McIntosh, Malwari. Lane nine, Sky Todd, Aladala. And as we get into the later part of the afternoon, sometimes we have uh, some swimmers that um, choose elect not to participate in some events. saying that uh, some students elect not to swim later in the day. They've completed what they think is enough and um, tend to see some gaps in fields in the events uh, towards the end of the program. But not here. We, I mean, sure, one or two lanes uh, missing, but most of these girls turning up to swim. And that's a great credit to them. They must be tired at the end of uh, a day's swimming program. They are lapping away here. Michaela Want, Coromel, is going to lead them through 150. She is in lane six. Sorry, it is Sky Williams. Lane six. Michaela Want, lane five. Michaela Want leads them down and into the wall. She's from Coromel High School. Just north of the centre of Wollongong. We now go to event 91. We've got the boys, 14 year old, 200 metres freestyle now. Zach Roger, lane three, Albion Park. Tyler Lee, lane four, Monero. Lane five, Sam Prosser, Kira. Nate Irvin, lane six, Bigger. Josh Bright, Illawarra Sports is in lane seven, and Owen Edwards, lane eight, Malwari. And we are going without Sam Prosser. There is no swimmer in lane five. Boys in heat one make their way back down the pool, bring it into 100 metres, coming into halfway. Tyler Lee has the slight lead. 
He takes them around. Only just from Kate Irvin. We've got Nate Irvin starting to make his move. He might enjoy the second half of the event a little more. But he's pushed, I think, I think to... He's pushed to a slight lead. And it is now Nate Irvin who's making his presence felt a little more now. He has it out to a body, a body length over Tyler Lee in lane four. Nate Irvin brings it down to the wall, completes 200 metres, as does Tyler Lee. And Joshua Bright come, will come in now. Joshua representing Illawarra Sports. We've got Zach Roger from Albion Park. He's finishing up at 200 metres of freestyle now. He looks good, looks strong. Probably quite weary at the end of all that, as most of the swimmers are. This will be Owen Edwards now from Mulwarri. He completes 200 metres and he completes heat one for the 14-year-old boys. Heat two, Cameron McKinnon, lane one, fig tree. Blake Plummer, lane two, Dapto. In lane three, Xavier O'Connor, Kayama. Lane four, Ashton Gowing, Bega. Lane five, Zane Ward, Kayama. Lane six, Lucas O'Malley, Barrel. Lane seven, Finn Ireland, Aladulla. Lane 8, Cooper Hazard, Coromel. Lane 9, Jacob Mabry. We've got Jacob Mabry in lane nine swimming from Bungendorm.
closing stages now. 14 years, boys. 200 metres freestyle. Ashton Gowing, Bigger, and Zane Ward, Kayama, come down to the wall. Most likely both qualify for the state championships. Event 92. 15-year-old. Girls, 200 metres freestyle. They're going as one group here. I am suggesting it is... Uh, in fact, it's pretty obvious it's an amalgamated event. I will get the, obtain the lane draw for you and uh, make you aware of that in just a moment. Right, so uh, as I suggested, this is an amalgamated uh, heat. Event 92, the 15-year-old girls over 200 metres. And the lane arrangements are as follows. In lane one, Rose, Murta, Hare, Hurley, Chindervine. Lane two, Deanna Gallagher, Barrel. Lane three, Lillian Rechek, Warilla. Lane four, Madison Ward, Wollongong. Lane five, Peyton Tepuk, Wanuna. Lane six, Nyla Lynch, Bulli. Lane seven, Eloise Hines Salter, Jindabine. Sienna Wu, lane eight. Lucy Quinlan, lane nine. Sienna from Bega. Lucy from Jindabine. Lane four and five there, rounding that out, I think. Madison Wood from Wollongong and Peyton Tepuk from Wanuna. We're now going to move into 15-year-old boys. 200 metres freestyle. It is event 93.
Heat one, 15 year old boys. Alexander Palko, Mawari, lane four. Harrison Fisher, lane five. Jerobombra, and beside him from Jerobombra, Justin Hill in lane six. Okay, we are in heat one of event 93 in a 99 event program where we've got the 15 year old boys in heat one here at the moment. Uh, it's being nicely contested by uh, both Harrison Fisher, Jerobombra, and Alexander Palko, Mulwari. Now Harrison Fisher appears to uh, enjoy the the second half of the event, and he's opened up uh, two body lengths over Alexander Palco. It is Harrison Fisher, Jerobombra, lane five, leading it into the final 50 metres. He turns and makes his way for his final uh, length of the pool. His rhythm's good. He looks strong. It is Harrison Fisher from Cherubombra. Harrison Fisher, Jerobombra, 15 metres to swim. Makes his way in and will post the quickest time from heat one. Alexander Palco. And Justin Hill completing heat one of the 15-year-old boys 200 metres freestyle. Coming into heat two, Paxton Anderson will swim in lane two. He's from Canahooker. In lane three, Kobe Sims, Rilla. Lane four, Connor Watt, Albion Park. Lane five, Lucas Morgan, Wanuna. Lake six, Maximus Smythe. Maximus is from Kira. Lane 7, Hunter Hooten. Bly. Lane 8, Ryland Burns. Bigger. And lane 9, Hugh Wigger. Jinderbine. Racing in heat 2 of the 15 year old boys. 200 metre freestyle. And no mucking around here. Lane three. Kobe Sims takes them out through 40 metres. And we'll see if he can hang on. Kobe's from Orilla. He turns, takes them through 50, and uh, he has company, as expected. On his left shoulder, 
Paxton Anderson is there. And on his toes, Connor Watt from Albion Park. And it continues to be Kobe Sims, who um, who made a pretty serious uh, impression in that first 40 metres. And now we're back to that same mark again on the third lap. And uh, it is Kobe Sims. He brings them now through 75 metres. And he has done the hard work he has led it into the final 25 and he's trying to get away but uh, it was Connor Watt there wouldn't let him have it all his own way for quite a while but Kobe Sims now comes into the wall very strong had to work for it and eventually came over the top great swim We have swimmers here from the great length and breadth of the region. Uh, here is our swimmer from Jindabyne, Hugh Wigger. He has had to travel to get here. He's done a nice job here. He's going to complete 200 metres in heat two of the 15-year-old boys, 200 metres. It's a great swim from all the boys. We're going to the girls, 16 years. There are going to be two heats here. So the older girls are turning up to swim their events. There's no slacking off. Sienna Strange, Mulwari, the distinctive green cap of Mulwari in lane three. Rihanna Pullman from Illawarra Sports is going in lane four. In lane five, Jackie Marshall, Bombardieri. In lane six, Kaya Rickson, Naruma. The ladies are away. Heat one, 16 years girls. They are led down to the first turn by Jackie Marshall from Bombardieri. She will turn just in front. Kai Rickson is right with her. And it will be interesting to see how this event unfolds now. Kai Rickson moves up alongside and they are swimming together. Jackie Marshall, Kai Rickson. Rihanna Pullman goes around 100 metres, as does Sienna Strange of Mulwari. And Kai Rickson out of this battle down the second 50 metres where the girls were tied up swimming beside each other. 
We've got Kai Rickson from Naruma that now has pulled away and has established a five metre lead over Jackie Marshall from Bomaderry. As they make their way down now to 25 metres to swim. I think Kai Rickson may have done enough here now. Five metre lead, 25 metres to swim. She's not losing any pace. Her effort is strong. And now she lifts a little and drives it into the wall and makes it a clear victory. Great swim from both girls, particularly at this stage of the day. It must be challenging. We're looking now at heat two. 16-year-old girls, it's event 94. So 16-year-old girls, heat two of 200 metres freestyle in lane one, Gidget Dimmer, Batemans Bay. Lane two, Lily Todd, Aladulla. Lane three, Marguerite Bressler. Bulleye. Lane four, Lara Elliott, Winuna. Lane five, Tilly Fickers, Smiths Hill. Lane six, Bianca Grieve, Shoalhaven. Lane seven, Indiana Aikman, Albion Park. Lane eight, Tasman Messenger, Bigger. Lane nine, Lara McClelland. Yes, we are going without Tasman Messenger in lane eight. Off we go. All but a complete lineup. Only lane eight missing here. And it is lane five. Tilly Fickers, uh, record breaker from earlier in the day. And someone who has her eye on some Olympic trials a little later in the year. And uh, plenty of evidence here as to why she might be aspiring those sort of things in the next uh, short while because it's late in the day and she still has plenty left. She has established five metres over a 75 metre start. Will come down into the wall for 100 metres and she is making all of them, the other girls, chase her. She turns 100 metres to swim now, bring it to 90, and she has a 15 metre lead. She's looking smooth and efficient. She's got plenty left. We have Lara, Elliot, Marguerite Bressler, Bianca Grieve around her. Tilly Fickers has made the turn. And in the gold cap, storms away. She comes down to 25 metres to swim and almost has a 20 metre lead. So she confirms herself as one of the outstanding swimmers of the championships and today she comes in and she has the best part of 25 metre lead there. It's a very, very good swim. Uh, the record for this event... 2.11.73 Amber Shiel set in 1997 Event 95 Boys 16 years this is looming as an amalgamated heat. It looks like a complete lineup across the pool.
now move to event 96. This is amalgamated as well. You know, I've got the information on the uh, the reallotment, the reconfiguration of lanes here. And uh, we have Madison Jones in lane four. She's coming down to complete her 200 metres. Madison Jones in the girls' seniors. She'll take the timekeepers there. She's in. Uh, Chloe Marshall from Bombardier is swimming in lane five. She's on her way with 45 minutes to swim and coming in now in lane six felicity shannon from yas three girls uh, in the 17 years girls the seniors 17 plus uh, 200 meters freestyle Chloe Marshall now, Bombardieri, completing the event. Girls waiting for her to finish. Jack Eden, lane one. Noah Johnson, lane two. Riley Gibbs, lane four. Declan Carriage, lane five. Lucas Kretevsky, lane six. Christian Bresler, lane seven. Caleb Miles, lane eight. And that completes the field for the senior boys, 200 metres freestyle. And uh, we're in one of the last if not the last individual event of the day and the boys are willing they have plenty of energy here uh, and 
it is in unison they turn and come up I'm trying to spot a difference here but it looks like lane five Declan Carriage at the moment just he has an arm length over Noah Johnson his nearest competitor but he's also got in lane seven Lucas Kretewski from Warilla well and truly in his company he turns and just is just holding them at uh, Riley Gibbs it is Declan Carriage from Kanahooka who is putting it to them in this last 100 metres and he has Lucas Kretewski who is managing to stay in touch at this stage a Christian Bresler, sorry, Christian Bresler, lane seven is his nearest rival and they will challenge each other down this final leg. Gee, it must be a hard way to, to finish a, a program of racing, but these guys are obviously very well practised. It is a race down the last 50 metres. Declan Carriage going at it trying to hold off Christian Bresler who is coming at him and they are throwing everything they can at it and it's a massive swim from Christian Bresler who uh, who maintained a position just in touch of Declan Carriage and then managed to come over the top in the last 25 meters they extend hands uh, but can't quite reach it across the lane. But they're showing their appreciation for the other one's effort. And once again, senior boys, excellent sportsmanship as they recognise the efforts of their fellow competitors. We have Jack Eden from Malwari, who will complete 200 metres and I believe he will be the last athlete to complete the individual section of the program for the championships. Congratulations to all the swimmers and to Jack. There, lane one, Mull Worry. If you've been watching the program and the championships today, we hope you have enjoyed it. A uh, combination of a lot of swimming and uh, some interviews with some, I guess, of the personalities of the carnival. Lots of personalities and people come together to put it together. Great thanks to all, to all of the officials, particularly the volunteers um, and uh, students who have come to assist with the running of the carnival. We know people have also travelled a long way to get here. Uh, safe trip home to all of those people and their families. Congratulations to Paul Crichton, the convener of the carnival, vastly experienced man at this level and beyond. And it's a credit to him and the, uh, the team that he puts together, the, the calibre of the carnival. It is a very, very well run event. I'm sure Paul and his, t his organisation team will now start to uh, turn their attention, eventually start to turn their attention to assembling a team of athletes, a team of swimmers to take to Sydney to Olympic Park uh, between the 13th and the 15th of May when the New South Wales CHS Championships will take place. We wish them all the best. Uh, both to the management team and to the competitors when Sydney rolls around for those championships. The event we have in the water at the moment is the girls, 12 years, 200 metres, 4 by 50 metre relay. And I think we've probably got a combined event here. We've got the 12 years, and the boy, uh, 12 years girls and boys in the same event. Uh, separate events on different sides of the pool, but uh, swimming an amalgamated race. Go, 
So these students now enjoying their first carnival, if you like, at this level. Congratulations to them. Uh, they've had to maintain some energy and effort towards the end of the day. They appear to have done that. Once again, thanks to everybody for your uh, not only attendance at the pool, but also hopefully enjoying the broadcast on the live stream. All right, that uh, brings to conclusion our uh, South Coast Secondary School Swimming Championships for 2024. The final race is completed for the day with the 12 years age group competing in an amalgamated event, girls and boys going together. It's been some fantastic swimming today. Uh, the weather has been excellent. So um, we would like to once again congratulate uh, Paul Crichton and his organisation and his team that he has assembled for this. Uh, it's been an, a very, very well-run carnival. Um, congratulations to the swimmers. We wish everybody on their journeys home all the best and we look forward and wish them the very, very best of luck for the championships in Sydney. The New South Wales CHS Championships should be a great spectacle, usually over two or three days. And um, we hope everyone has safe journeys there and best of luck to all, all of the swimmers. If you're making your first trip to Sydney, I'm sure that'll be a magnificent uh, occasion for you. Um, so from DAPTO for the Secondary School Swimming Championships for 2024, it's goodbye, safe trip home and see you next year.